Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are back for some more of our lovely, lovely Forever Lock challenge here today. I just barely made it, by the way. <laughs> uh, while the intro was playing, I hit the button to start the like recording or whatever <laughs> and like swap over to the, the intro, like to, to watch a little intro blurb or whatever. Um, I ran to go get my coffee because I forgot it. And I was like putting Kramer and shit in it. <laughs> And <laughs> like trying desperately to like finish it before the intro stop. I hear the music in my headset. Oh, God. But I made it. It's cool. <laughs> um, but yes, hello, everybody. We're back for playthrough number 54. Not 34. 54. <laughs> I accidentally put 34 in the title. Oops. Um, but yeah, so we're back for um, playthrough 54 of the Forever Lock Challenge here in Hoenn. For the first time in a long time, I haven't seen this Sapphire screen in forever. Um, so yeah, very exciting stuff. I hope everyone is doing well today. I'm excited to <laughs> I do need my coffee it's true it's true um you yeah, know I'm excited to jump into this one because yeah we haven't played we haven't played Sapphire since playthrough three of 54 <laughs> which is absurd um so yeah no um it'll be fun excited to jump back into Hoenn gen 3 is a little light on Pokemon but we're gonna try our best with what we have so let's do it Let's do it. Ooh, we have a, a change layout color. Very nice. Um, once uh, Gaming wants me to do something that looks like Sapphire. So yeah, absolutely. I could do that. Easy peasy. But yeah, how's everybody doing today? I hope everyone is doing well. That's uh, that's the because it's the first stream, uh, Leap Crow. <laughs> uh, let me... Do shift to a Sapphire blue color. How close can I get? I want to get like... I want it to be like more sapphire-y. Ooh, yeah, see, that looks good. Yeah, that looks pretty sapphire-y. <laughs> yeah, that's much better. Yeah, yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Okay, cool. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> that'll work. That'll work. Okay, so yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm um, jumping on in. Of course, we already are in our room. Skip all, all the intro stuff like we usually do. Um, so yeah, here, I actually think I already did the clock stuff in this uh, in this particular file, so that's cool. <laughs> hey, Star Chant, welcome in. Lids, go set the clock in your- Oh, no, I haven't set the clock. Okay, we're gonna set the clock right now. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, it is- Let's see, it's 12.04. Man, imagine- Remember when we had to do this manually? <laughs> Crazy. It's 12- Wait, hold on. Can I remember how a freaking analog clock works? Um, 12.04. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. I think I fucked this up. This right here is 12. 12.04. Should be, like, right here, right? <laughs> I think that's it. Oh, it's been a lot. I don't... Who uses an analog clock anymore? <laughs> I don't even know if they teach that in schools anymore, to be honest. <laughs> Lids, how do you like your new room? Good, everything's put away neatly. They finished moving everything downstairs, too. Pokemon movers are so convenient. Oh, you should make sure that that's everything there on your desk. Yeah, no, I can't tell time. It's true, Thorozak. I can't tell time. <laughs> do, okay, out of, out of curiosity... Um, on average, chat, which, which clock do you use more often? Um, I was gonna say, I definitely use digital clocks, like, way more often. Like, all my clocks in my house are digital. Um, whether it's on my phone, or, like, the microwave, or the stove, they're all digital. They're all digital. Does anyone here still use an analog clock? I am curious. I'm gonna take this potion. That's what I was going for here. <laughs> okay. Oh, Lids, Lids, come quickly. Uh, gaming is a bit of both, but I prefer digital. I feel like everyone does, right? It's just, it's like, like, there's less, like, bullshit, right? <laughs> just like, I don't have to learn how the clocks work. I mean, I know how they work, because obviously, like, I knew how to figure it out eventually. It's just, it's not as intuitive. <laughs> but yeah. In any case, here we go. Oh, hey, Dapper Kirby, welcome in. Dapper Kirby says, I see analog clocks very often at work and in buildings, though, of course, I mainly just use my phone's digital time for personal stuff. Yeah, 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 no, that makes more sense. The other thing is, like, what what you can accomplish with a, with a digital clock, like, at a glance, you know exactly what time it is when you look at a digital clock. But in, with an analog clock, you'll figure it out, but you have to stare at it for, like, a second, right? I don't think anyone can look at a, an analog clock and know in, like, any longer than like a couple of seconds what time it is right they have to like look at it and be like okay this clock be especially if it doesn't have any like uh, numbers on it it'd be like okay wait this one should be four this one should be 25 if it's like right in this spot you know like that sort of thing it's tricky it, it does depend on the on the analog clock for sure but like still it's just yeah it's complicated <laughs> it's complicated hiya brendan 
Pokemon fully restored, items all packed, and... Hey, you! Who are you? <laughs> oh, you're Lids, aren't you? Moved in next door, right? I didn't know that you're a girl. Well, <laughs> well, here I am. <laughs> Dad, Professor Birch, said that our new next-door neighbor is the gym leader's kid, so I assumed you'd be a guy. Wow, fucking bold assumption there, my friend. My name's Brendan, so hi, neighbor. Huh? Hey, Lids, don't you have a Pokemon? You know, Pokemon, things that boys like and the girls don't like. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Do you want me to go catch you one? Oh, darn, I forgot. He's so fucking patronizing. <laughs> Fuck you, Brendan. I'm supposed to go help my dad catch some wild Pokemon. Some other time, okay? Dapper Kirby says, digital is objectively better. I've just seen analog for so much in my life that I could tell at a glance anyways. Oh, very cool. About how long would you say it takes you? If you saw, like, uh, like this clock, right? If you look at this this clock, how long does it take you to figure out what time it is there, Dapper Kirby? I'm just curious. Um, Cause like obviously yeah, no numbers, no nothing. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just wondering like about how long would it take? Okay, so yeah, we head out onto the wilderness. Very cool. About a second versus versus a uh, uh, digital, which I imagine is instantaneous, right? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. This is interesting. An interesting, interesting ponder. I don't think about too often. I'm being real. <laughs> Okay, a perfect slow. Yeah, no, I saw your message about it. Uh, I meant to respond, but I kind of ran out of time while I was uh, doing pre-stream prep. Um, but yeah, um, thank you for doing that, though. So I'm, I'm excited to check it out. <laughs> um, okay. Hello, you over there, please help. In my bag, there's a Pokeball. All right, here we are, chat. <laughs> so, okay, so before we jump into this... Hey, Jackie, good to see you. Welcome in. Um... Uh, Leap Chris says, what do you use the layout color thing? Uh, it just changes the color. It's a redemption that, that changes the background color of the of the stream. Someone, it's only redeemable once per stream, though, and someone already redeemed it this time. So that's it's if it's if you've been trying it and it's not working, that's why. <laughs> um, but yeah, so um, chat, I have a conundrum here. Um, here's what I will say is I have some Pokemon in the PC right now from previous playthroughs. And I have exactly five Pokemon that are under the level of the next upcoming gym leader, which is level 15. Um, so um, the question that I have for you all is do... Okay, so basically the Pokemon that I have in the PC are they're all Pokemon that can be added to the team, but none of them are fully evolved. <laughs> <laughs> but they're all I have, which means that I have to add them to the squad. Um, so we have a couple of we have a couple of options here. Uh, as far as home and starters go, we have uh, Swampert is in the Hall of Fame. Uh, here, I'm actually gonna pull up. I'm actually gonna pull up my list here real fast, just so I know what I'm actually looking at. I'm not sure what you mean there, Leap Crow. You'll have to elaborate further. I don't know what you're talking about with like a website. Um. I, I use the, the the layout change color for the stream itself. <laughs> I don't. I, I'm not sure what you're. I'm not sure what you're asking there. Um, but yeah. So we have. Um, I have Swampert in the Hall of Fame, and I currently have in a different. In a hey, Karen. It's good to see you. Uh, I got to dip out. Lag lags too much for me at the moment. Uh, oh, that sucks. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> sorry about that. But take care, Karen. I hope you. I hope you uh, have a good day at work. Um, but yeah. So we have we have a Trico and Torchic accounted for. And Swampert is in the Hall of Fame, which means that Grovile, Sceptile, Cumbuskin, Blaziken, Mudkip, and Marshchomp are what we have left that we can actually use. Um, so here's here's sort of where we're at. I have no fully evolved Pokemon that we can use right away in this playthrough. Which means that uh, unless we take Trico or Torchic, we will not have a fully evolved Pokemon on the team. However, if we take Trico or Torchic and go with the Blaziken or the Sceptile for that fully evolved Pokemon... That also means that we have to use a team of five because I do not have any fully evolved Pokemon or rather I don't have any um, evolves twice mons. I don't have any two times mons in the PC right now. If we take Mudkip, we can have a full team of six because if we go with Mudkip, it would be a Pokemon that's capable of evolving twice. So the option then becomes, should we go with Sceptile and Blaziken for the power or Sceptile or Blaziken for the power, or should I go with Mudkip so that I can have a team of six? Because if we go with uh, if we go with Sceptile or Blaziken, although we'll have a stronger Pokemon, potentially, 
it does mean that we will have to use a team of five the entire time. <laughs> the entire playthrough will be a team of five because I have no Pokemon that can evolve twice in the entire run. Um, so yeah, <laughs> the, that is um, that is where we're at. I wanted to give you all that that pre information. Um, team of six is Mudkip. Team of five, but with a evolves twice, or but with a fully evolved Mon on the team potentially, um, with the other two. So I'm going to put a poll up. <laughs> um, I was gonna say I, I I I think I think I'll wait until we actually get to the PC to show you what those five Pokemon are. But what I will say is none of them, none of them are fully evolved, and none of them can evolve twice. Meaning that they're all Pokemon that could evolve but only evolve once. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll leave it at that. Uh, but I will go ahead and do a starter poll like I usually do, and I will let you all decide uh, which what what our fate is here. If we go with Mudkip or, um, or if we go with Mudkip, it will just be a Mudkip. If we go with, um, Torchic or Trico, it will be a Sceptile and Blaziken, respectively. Um, so yeah, starter pull. And yeah, I will let, I will let you all decide what we're gonna do. Because yeah, I mean, we could do a five-mon team, that's fine. <laughs> but at the same time, a team of six would be nice. So, I will leave it in your hands, chat. Thank you all for your for your help. <laughs> the poll is now live. None of them would be fully evolved. That's correct, Star Champ. None of the Pokemon that will be auto joining our team as soon as I get to the Pokemon Center, uh, none of them are fully evolved. Not a single one of them. <laughs> so it the only one that that would be fully evolved is if we chose Sceptile or Blaziken as our starter. That would be full. That could be fully evolved because we have those open slots. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I already have Swampert in the Hall of Fame, so, uh, choosing the Mudkip, we wouldn't be able to do that. Uh, we'd have to go with Mark Stomper Mudkip, which I'd rather do Mudkip if I was gonna choose Mudkip, because, um, I'd want it to, you know, I'd want the full team at that point. <laughs> I mean, I guess we could, we could do Mark Stomper or, or, or Grovile or Cumbuskin as well. Um, those are technically possibilities, but... <laughs> What I will say, Jackie, is we do in fact have a fire and a ground type on the team already. Um, I'll show you. I'll show you all the teams uh, soon. Okay, it looks like chat went with Torchic. It looks like the 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 the, the chat did in fact go with uh, Torchic. So we will go ahead and pick Torchic and make it our Blaziken. I think that sounds good. I think that sounds good all around. <laughs> so yeah, here we go. Chat has chat has deemed that we are doing a five mon run, <laughs> which is fine. Which is fine. We can make that work. We've done it in the past. Like we just did it last playthrough, in fact. Um, so yeah, here we go. We got the we got the Torchic. Give it another scratch. Knock out that Poochiana. Beautiful. Yes, it will be a Blaziken. Yes, this is in fact going to be our Blaziken. I was in the tall grass studying wild Pokemon when I was jumped. You saved me. Thanks a lot. Oh, here your lids. This is not the place to chat. So come by my lab later, okay? And later as now. <laughs> So, Litz, I've heard so much about you from your father. I've heard that you don't have your own Pokemon yet, but the way you battled earlier, you pulled it off with a plum. I've never heard anyone. I've never heard that word used outside of this game. I guess you have your father's blood in your veins after all. Ah, uh, yes. As thanks for rescuing me, I'd like you to have the Pokemon you used earlier. Litz received the Torchic. Yay! <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Got a highlighted message from uh, Starchamp says, uh, "What plugin slash program slash etc. do you use to change the color?" Oh, what do I use to actually change it? Is that what what um, Leap Crow was asking? Um, I, it's not a program. It's just um, it's built into OBS. Um, it, if you if you have an image or whatever like on because they my um, my background is just a it's just a PNG. It's it's all my layout. All you have to do is just go, uh, right click it and go to uh, filters. Uh, I think it's filters, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, just right click it and go to filters, and then like, like you've got like gamma, contrast, brightness, saturation, hue shift, all that stuff. That's all you gotta do. <laughs> That's all it is. It's just, you just change those. They're built in. There's no, there's no website or plugin or anything related to it. Um, but yes, of course I'm gonna nickname it. Of course I'm gonna nickname it. Um, so I'm sure that some of you have probably already noticed this. Um, but I did go ahead and remove the nickname suggestion, um, uh, like actual redemption. I've decided that going forward, I want to go back to how I used to do it before, where I base basically chat can just give me a ton of suggestions, and I'll go with whichever one I like the best. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's I just want to do that going forward. I just think it's a, a little more clean, I guess, um, for lack of better phrasing. 
Uh, but yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, but in any case, uh, Blaziken. What are we calling this Blaziken? I am completely open to, uh, to nickname suggestions. So yeah, give me your best. Give me your best. <laughs> uh, let's see. Just catching up on chat here as well. Uh, Jackie says this game is so deceptively hard. Um, it's uh, it's fine right up until Metagross, and then if you can't deal super effective damage, you get swept. That's that is very true. <laughs> I have uh, I have uh, mentioned how how much Metagross gives me a hard time in the past as well. <laughs> uh, let's see. I think we have a Pokemon named Twitter KFB. Let's see. Jaden or Kentucky. Kentucky is good. I, I actually had a I had a Blaziken I named Kentucky one time. Captain Falcon. <laughs> That's cute. I've actually always thought that uh, Captain Falcon would be really good for if they may ever made like a Blaziken. Um, like, if, if Blaziken was a fighter and they, they could just make him like an Echo Fighter or like a clone fighter of Captain Falcon, I think that'd be like perfect. <laughs> like, actually perfect though. Kind of wild. Uh, teriyaki's good. Drumstick is good. Kung Fu. Jeggings! <laughs> I kind of like Jeggings. <laughs> I'm going to go with Jeggings. I, that one speaks to me. Jeggings. <laughs> I think that's really funny. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Thank you, Star Champ. Thank you, everybody, for the suggestions. Those, those were all great, to be to be fair. Um, th they were all fantastic. I really liked them. Roaster's really good, Yumi. I like that one, too. <laughs> I'm going with Jeggings, though. Jeggings. I don't, yeah, I don't know why that one speaks to me, Thorozak. I agree. <laughs> okay, perfect. And I'm going to go ahead and add Jeggings to the layout. That's perfect. Um, so yeah, let me do that. We will add, it is currently a Torchic. It will eventually be a Blaziken. Oh, I actually got to put it on my checklist first, though. Oopsie. <laughs> okay, Blaziken. There we go. Add Pokemon to the checklist. Or no, uh, add to the layout. Here we go. Okay, so Torchic as a Blaziken in slot one. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> perfect, perfect. We got it. Um, all right. Great, br great. Brenda should be happy too. Get Brenda to teach you what it means to be a traitor. All right, we'll do that. <laughs> yeah, Jeggings has a good energy. I agree. I agree. I like it. It's like perfect. Um, but yeah, here we go. So yeah, it's gonna be a five mon team. As soon as we get to Oldale, we'll be able to add all of our team members too. So we'll actually be we'll be going to fight Brendan with like a whole like I mean not a whole team I guess technically, but we'll be able to go and fight Brendan with five Pokemon. Um, <laughs> so yeah. Okay, so, ooh, um, yeah, so, uh, today's question of the day, uh, is what retired Pokemon game mechanic would you like to see return in the future title? Um, Arcanine has answered, says, uh, everyone wants Mega Evolution, and I agree. I mean, I also agree, yeah, bring back Mega Evolution, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. It, it was a good one. It was a good one. Okay, so here is our, here is our entire box here, um... We will, of course, uh, be limited to only Pokemon who are under the level of the next upcoming gym leader at present, which right now is right here. Um, <laughs> so these were, in fact, the five Pokemon that I was referring to that would encompass our team. Because we did wind up going with Blaziken, I'm only able to add four of them. <laughs> um, so because, yeah, we will not have any Pokemon that is capable of evolving twice. Um, so among these five Pokemon here at the start, we have Shelbert the Almanite, Gil the Carvana, Pinkies the Clefairy, Coverdale the Onyx, and Lakuda the Nummel. Um, these are the only Pokemon we can add, and they are already in the final form that they will achieve. <laughs> so um, these are our options. Um, so yeah, I guess chat can help me decide who we're going to add, like who's going to be the one that gets left out. Um, so... <laughs> I was going to say, I have a funny feeling that Almanite's going on the team based on chat's immediate reactions. <laughs> Let me catch up on chat here real quick. Uh, yeah, no, I love I love that chain of logic, though, Star Champ. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. Jeggings is the starter. It's great stuff. Uh, Star Champ says, uh, Pokemon jobs. Ooh, interesting choice. Uh, specifically the ones that let me grind for IV. I didn't even know that was a thing. That's a thing? Oh, that's kind of, that kind of rules. <laughs> uh, Voltor flip. Nice, I guess, sausage. Uh, Jackie says, I love uh, Gen 4 berry farming so much. Uh, it's so fast and clean and predictable. I love it. Oh, very fair. Very fair. Um, Soul says, besides Megas, I want following Pokemon done well. <laughs> I agree with that one, too. Just give us following Pokemon the way that like we all know it's possible. Um, it's so funny that it took mods to make BDSP have the correct kind of follow Pokemon. And once it did, it's like perfect. Like The mod is perfect for it. It, it like works so nicely. <laughs> 
And of course, I get why people want Megas back, although I personally uh, wish that all all gimmicks, Mega, Z-Moves, Dynamax, etc., uh, would not come back. Just make the gameplay feel a little bloated, you know? That's a valid take, Dapper Kirby. I, I can respect that. I can respect that. Ooh, Dapper Kirby wants me to add pinkies. Leap Crow says, do Shelbert, Onyx, Numbel, Clefairy, and Sorry Gil. Oh, you're going to abandon Gil like that? That's so tragic. <laughs> Um, but yeah, let's see. Yeah, they're, 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 I think they're, I mean, they're not the only ones that are redundant. Technically speaking, Coverdale and Lakuta are re redundant, especially considering we have, uh, Blaziken as well. Um, because we have Fire, and then if we did Onyx, that's redundant with Ground, so. I honestly am kind of leaning towards one of these two getting left off, but, I mean, that's not necessarily, that doesn't necessarily need to be the case. Um, so yeah. Um, but yeah, it does look like, at the very least, chat seems to agree that we should add Shelbert and Pinkies. Uh, which I could totally do. I will go ahead and commit to them uh, right now. Committing to them. So yeah, these these two will go on uh, on the uh, on the team immediately. Uh, we could le we could leave off Onyx. Yeah, yeah. Lakuta is probably the most redundant. I kind of agree. Uh, Lakuta might be the one. The only thing that is kind of like uh, sort of a saving grace of the Onyx is that I think that uh, Numble gets a better move set. <laughs> um. So, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's hard to say. It's hard to say. Uh, let's see. Do a vote for who not to include. I mean, I could. I could. Um, yeah, I, here. Here's what I'll do. Is I'm going to commit to Shelbert and Pinkies. These two are going on the team for sure. I'm going to put them on the layout. And then, yeah, I actually think I will do that. I think I will take your suggestion there. Um, we're going to do a vote for who will not be jo joining the squad. Who's going to get voted off the island? <laughs> um, yeah, let me really quickly. I want to put Clefairy... As a Clefairy in slot two. And then I want Almanite. As an Almanite in slot three. Okay, perfect. Um, <laughs> yeah, total drama Pokemon. Very nice, Leap Crow. Um, but yeah, okay, so yeah, I'm gonna do a pull. I'm gonna do a pull. So yeah, uh, it's gonna be between. Um, so yeah, who is not joining? the team. And it'll be between, yeah, it's going to be uh, Carvana, Onyx, and Numel. And so, yeah, just as a reminder, whoever whoever wins this poll is not joining the team. <laughs> so don't vote for who you want. Vote for who you don't want. <laughs> kind of kind of tricky there. But yeah, that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. But yeah, go for it, chat. Go for it. Uh, Thursday says multiple fees like a good addition. Unfortunately, I can't add anyone. Uh, I can't add uh, add anything that is after. These are all in order by level. Um, I can't add anything that's above level fifteen because uh, Roxanne's uh, nose pass is level fifteen, um, and we're limited by the the upcoming gym leader. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Thursday. No worries. Uh, yeah, all these other Pokemon are are super valid Pokemon. Just I can't use them because they're too high level. <laughs> Um, we will be able to use them once we get a little bit further in the game. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. Who's gonna Who's gonna stay behind? Um, the, granted, like we'll still be able to use the Pokemon like later on. It's not like they're getting released or anything. It's just who's not gonna be a part of the starting team? <laughs> yeah, let's let's take a peek. Ooh, jeez, no, <laughs> Coverdale. <laughs> oh yeah, Coverdale got kind of kind of dunked on there. I think we have a clear winner, and by winner I mean loser. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it feels bad. Okay, no Onyx. No Onyx. You got it, chat. So yeah, in that case, um, Gil and Lakuda will be joining the squad, and Coverdale will be staying behind. <laughs> Very good. Um, hey, Zoppy, welcome in. Good to see you. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Um, but yeah, the team is decided. The team is decided. So yeah, let me go ahead and add uh, Numble as a Numble into slot four. And Carvanha as a Carvana in slot five. And there we go. There's the, there is the starting squad. We have, again, we have no two times Mon, so we will not be doing that. Um, yeah, we will be, we will be simply using these five and rocking out with it. At least we have a blaze again. That's, uh, that's nice. That is nice. <laughs> um, so yeah, as uh, says, did you do magic carp? Yeah, I, I did do magic carp. Yeah. Magic carp. I actually got into the hall of fame in my very first playthrough of the challenge. <laughs> that was a long time ago. Um, but yeah, so I have in fact done Magikarp already. Um, but yeah, okay, cool, cool, cool. So yeah, there's the squad. Um, let's take a look at them real quick as well. 
and take their items too. I actually do have ton a ton of items in the PC that I should probably grab as well. Um, Moonstone, not bad. Quick Claw, that's pretty good. I might give that to my starter. Yellow Flute, I mean, Yellow Flute's good. Yellow Flute's just good in general. Here, I think I will give, I'm gonna give the Quick Claw to you. Actually, maybe I should give it to Shelbert. I take that back. I'm gonna give it to Shelbert. I think Shelbert was already holding it hilariously, but <laughs> um, yeah, there we go, there we go. Oh, I wish I could. I wish I could, Eviolite. <laughs> yeah, we can't, Yumi. We don't have any fully evolves. That's what that was the debate that we did with the starter. Is that if we do if we do the Blaziken, we can we will have a full a fully evolved Pokemon. But we didn't have access to any other ones <laughs> uh, this early on. So yeah. This is just Almanite, just Clefairy, just Carvana, just Nummel, and then Blaziken. <laughs> so yeah, it's gonna be, it's not gonna be an easy one. I will say that. Um, what items do we have in here? Uh, Mist Miracle Seed, Mystic Water, Red Flute, Silk Scarf. To figure out what 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 all we actually want to grab real fast. Do I have access to item, moving items? It'd be really nice if I did. I don't think I do though. Not in this game. Yeah, no, I I definitely don't. <laughs> Rip. Oh well, um, let's see. Who holds what? So we have Quick Claw on you. I'm gonna figure out our team real quick before we progress here. <laughs> yeah, that's correct, Throwzak. Yeah, no, no fully evolved. There are other fully evolved Pokemon in the box, just not I can use on the team right now. So if someone goes down, we'll be able to add them, but obviously I'm gonna try to avoid that. Um, but yeah, let's see. Do I have, I, I presumably have Mystic Water, right? Mystic Water, okay, yeah, yeah. Let me let me quickly take you. We're playing freaking Sapphire, so it's gonna be a little bit tricky. But um, I'll bust into some speed up while we take off the item. I can give that to Shelbert. Shelbert should have Surf, if I remember right. Yes, it does in fact have Surf. Um, ooh, ooh it has Toxic. Ooh, <laughs> I like that. Um, okay, yes, yeah, so the Scratch Growl, Strength Blizzard, Encore, Water Pulse, not bad. Uh, surf on you as well. I'll take it. Uh, just strength on you. Okay, fair enough. Um, okay, put, cool, cool, cool. Um, so yeah, we'll put Beyblade back. Put Blade, Beyblade back. We got that Mystic Water. I guess I can give that to Carvana, too. Um, Mystic Water, Carvana. You think so? Yeah, I could probably do that. Yeah, we could Toxic Stall. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Silk Scarf. Would that be good for anybody? I guess it'd be good for, uh, our normal type Clefairy. Um, we do have Strength, so... Yeah, I guess I could take the Silk Scarf. Just uh, borrow that off of you there, Achilles. I'm only going to take the stuff that we actually need, so, um... Just because uh, this is a bit of a process. I'll get all the, these items, like, you know, resituated re between streams. <laughs> uh, okay, so there's that. What else do we want? Uh, yeah, so we'll do Silk Scarf for you, Mystic Water for you. So I still need something for Lakuta and Jeggings. Um... Uh, Yumi says, wait, so our last mom will be a Volstoy spawn, so Blaziken is all we have uh, for late game. We're screwed. <laughs> yeah, no, we, yeah, we, yeah, yeah, the last one is for the full, uh, yeah, the Evolves Twice spawn, yeah, which we don't have access to in this playthrough. So, yeah, it's a five-mon team where, yeah, our only fully evolved Pokemon is Blaziken. That is correct. It's not going to be easy. It is possible, though. I've done runs where, I've done Nuzlocke runs where I've used non-fully evolved Pokemon and been okay. It's not going to be easy, but it is doable. Oh, shit, I minimized the thingy my bad <laughs> my bad my bad okay there we go um yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be tricky um but okay so yeah we have lakuda and or uh what did i say lakuda uh yeah lakuda and uh jeggings i need an item for um we have master roll yo tmo6 that's that's toxic oh an earthquake hell yeah hell yeah i saved some good items this time I don't, what's tm19 is that like like a grass move i feel like that's like Giga Drain or something like that, right? I'm not sure. <laughs> we actually already have Swampert in the Hall of Fame, you mean, which is why it was sort of tricky, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Jackie, exactly, yeah. Swampert's in the Hall of Fame already. Um, so yeah, it was uh, the only fully evolved options we had for starters were Sceptile and Blaziken. Uh, but yeah, I will take... I guess we should just take those real fast. Um, actually, I could slap... Er oh, Watson's gonna get absolutely molly whopped. <laughs> That's beautiful. Uh, here, let me let me take that off real quick. Thank you, Bright Eye. I appreciate you. <laughs> we'll get all this inventory management stuff out of the way soon, I promise. <laughs> it's like my least favorite part of doing Gen 3 runs. Uh, let's take whatever this is. I think this is Giga Drain, if I remember right. 
Whatever it is, I got it now. I don't think I would have saved it if it wasn't something good. Okay, so there's that. And then what was the other one, TM06? Yes, an extra toxic. I will absolutely take an extra toxic. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so yeah, let me... Put you there. Um, okay, uh, let's grab this Master Ball real quick. I don't think we'll need it, but just in case. We actually are going to be catching stuff this playthrough. We have a ton of Hoenn Mons we actually need, believe it or not. Um, so yeah, I will take that. We'll take that. And then we'll put this here. Okay, and then, yeah, we still need... Ooh, Leftover. I will take that. Actually, that's... that's. I'm going to give that to the starter. Leftover, good. Leftover's good. And I need one more item for Lakuta. Do I have a charcoal? I don't think I do. I don't remember seeing one. Black incense, spell tag, variant share. Ooh, King's Rock. I'll take King's Rock. King's Rock will do. King's Rock will do. Okay, perfect. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, cool. I think we're all situated. Let me just give these items to their respective Pokemon. There you go, Jeggings. Here's for you, Lakuta. Give you to Pinkies. And Mystic Water for Gil. Okay, perfect. Now we're in good shape. <laughs> sorry. Sorry about all the all the time that took. <laughs> uh, sorry, it says last time we said Blaziken could solo against Steven, we got Ludian beating him after he died. It's true. Uh, to be to be fair, I had every reason to win that fight if I had just had a brain cell. A single brain cell is all it would have taken. <laughs> Unfortunately, I had exactly zero. Um, uh, Yubi says, I remember struggling hard against Tate and Liza as a kid because my starter was Blaziken. I feel like this run might be a repeat of that. Hopefully not. We'll try our best. I mean, to be uh, uh, keep in mind, Yumi, if we lose any Pokemon before Tate and Liza, we will probably be able to add another fully evolved Pokemon to the team. Um, this is just our starting team. <laughs> so if it comes down to it and we have to make like a, a hard decision later, we, we can do that. But we'll worry about that when we get there. <laughs> um, no, we actually, we actually need a ton of Hoenn Pokemon, uh, Arcanine. Uh, looking at my list here, let me, let me take a peek. Let's see. Yeah, this is Sapphire. Yep, this is Sapphire, not Emerald. Yep, yep, yep. Um, so yeah, we need, uh, here's all the Hoenn Pokemon we need this playthrough that we can potentially get in this playthrough. Uh, Ludicolo, Curlia, Gardevoir, Surskit, Shroomish, Breloom, Slacking, Exploud, Delcaddy, Laron, Plusle, Minan, Rosilia, Cacnea, Solrock, Corfish, Relicanth, and Batang. Which, Batang is post-game, so that one doesn't really matter. <laughs> um, we do, in fact, have all the legendaries, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, okay, so... With all of that said... Um, let's figure out what we're doing here. Oh, we do, we do need to go and fight, um, we do need to go and fight, uh, Brendan. So that's probably step number one here. We don't have Pokeballs yet, so. Do not need to worry about, um, catching anything quite yet. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, Surskit. Surskit can be kind of tricky if you don't know where to go. It's true. It's true. Yeah, we will see. We will see. <laughs> Okay, hello, Brendan. How's it going? Over here being a fun little misogynist. Uh, Leap says, what's, uh, with Highland Message says, what's uh, the worst team you've had on the playthrough? The worst? I, I, don't, really, I don't really keep track, to be honest. <laughs> what's the worst team I had? Probably one of the five Mon teams, but I couldn't tell you which one. Um, I don't know. I don't, re I don't really typically look at them in that, in that way of, of just like, you know, which one, which one is the quote unquote worst. <laughs> Hey, yo, the leftovers pop in the first fight. <laughs> Brenda's just like, what is this bullshit? <laughs> Andy, Andy jobs on the tackle. Feels bad. Oh, yeah, we get the Route 102 Ralts. That would actually be really hype. Um, most likely, we'll get the Lotad, which is unfortunately because... Um, or is unfortunate. There we go. Nailed it. Um, if we get the Ralts, that would be hype, because we can actually get Lotad somewhere else, but you cannot get Ralts somewhere else. So if we did get the Ralts, that would be hype. That would be hype as hell. It was like to maximize the number of uh, of, of Pokemon that you can get, right? <laughs> well done, Jeggings. You crushed it. That was like super, super vanilla, except for the leftovers. <laughs> if I get Lotad, can I put it as a Lotad? I believe we have Lotad in the Hall of Fame, I think. Maybe we don't. 
I'm like questioning that now. <laughs> Someone could look if we, if we have low tat or not. I don't remember. I don't remember. But um, I feel like we do. Am I thinking of something else? I've been thinking of something else. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> um, point is, we definitely do need a. Uh, we definitely need a Ludicolo for sure. For sure. So that's probably what I'll go for. We uh, we have a low tad currently. I guess is the point I'm making. I know that for a fact. <laughs> Yeah, I'd like to I'd like to delay the low tad for later if I can. Do I have not to already? I believe so, yeah. I believe we have not to already. Yep. Jodo mons I don't think there's any Jodo mons in Hoenn that we need. I'll look real quick. Yeah, it's just Politoed, Wooper, Quilava, and Cyndaquil. I wonder I wonder how that happened. <laughs> uh, goodness gracious. Um But yeah. I have any repels? Uh, not at, not at present, I don't think. I don't think I could buy them until probably Rust Boro, if I had to guess. If I had to guess. I do have a low tab, but it's not in the Hall of Fame. Thank you, Jackie. Oh, yeah, um, hopefully y'all have checked out the, uh, the new tracker, the, the, um, Google Sheets tracker. Let me know what y'all think of it, because I didn't really see, I didn't really hear any, like, feedback on it. Um, what do y'all think? Do y'all like it? I spent a lot of, I spent a lot of time working on it. <laughs> um... But yeah, so yeah, what do you think? Give me give me give me your your thoughts. Do you like it visually? Is there anything you changed? Let me know. Let me know. Yeah, I know those those Jodomon sound oddly familiar. I wonder why. <laughs> Very nice, Arcanine. Yeah, there we go. We got ourselves some lovely, lovely Pokeballs, which means it is now time for us to go and get some encounters. I think the earliest one is that Route 103 encounter, though. Or uh wait, Route 102? What a Wait, hold on. The, the, the uh, West. <laughs> the West one. <laughs> Dang, I'm mixing them up. I think it's Route 10. It's Route 102, because Route 103 is the one that's north. That's where you fight Brendan. So yeah, that has to be Route 102 then. Yep. Oh, thank you, Jackie. I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, Amy says, be prepared for this run to be me being constantly weirded out by how much Ruby and Sapphire are lacking compared to Emerald, especially the gym leaders. <laughs> Fair. Very valid. I was gonna say, I think you've seen me play Ruby before, so at least, like, it will be, like, brand new territory. Uh, but yeah, I know that you're very much so more familiar with, uh, with Emerald, so yeah. Super, super fair. Um, let's see, let's put, um, let's put Shelbert out front. We'll start our, uh, our little system of, uh, systematically leveling everybody up. And that'll be good. Let me heal up real fast as well. Uh, Dabber Kirby says, I like it more personally, just as uh, clean, if not more, and much faster to search through. Great work. Thank you so much, Dabber Kirby. I appreciate that. That means a lot. That means a lot. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, let's head on out. Um, I guess, actually, before we start actually training in on Shelbert, um, let me see here real quick. Who's going to be best to fight? I guess, actually, our starter might be the best Pokemon to fight with, because it has, like, the... It's a little scratch, a little baby scratch. I guess I could go with Lakuda, but Lakuda's kind of strong too. So, yeah, here I, I will put Jenkins out front just for us to get the encounter. Um, which, um, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that first. <laughs> I'm excited. Oh wait, wait, hold on. I should buy some more Pokeballs just in case. Just in case. Just in case. I don't want to get too ahead of myself here. I'm glad. I'm glad y'all. I'm glad y'all are liking it. I'm glad y'all y'all are liking it. I'll be I'll be continually like improving it and updating it as I like learn more about how Google Sheets works. There's a couple of things that I'm still trying to, like, figure out, so, um, in the meantime, though, I hope y'all enjoy it. it. It was, yeah, I put it together over the course of the last week or so. Took some time, but made it happen. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, let's grab, let's grab not exactly nine just to trigger everybody in chat. <laughs> and there we go, perfect. Um, that should be plenty, though. That should be plenty. All right, Route 102, let's go. So yeah, is it gonna be is it gonna be low tad or is it gonna be Ralts? I would very much like it for for it to be a Ralts, but we'll see. It's a low tad. <laughs> it's immediately low tad. Not even a Wurmple or a Poochiana or anything. It's immediately low tad. Rip, rip Ralts. That's okay. <laughs> that is okay. That is okay. We'll we'll, we'll live. Okay. A little bit of damage. I'm kind of nervous about hitting it again. I don't want it to crit. <laughs> I don't want it to crit. All right. 
right, beautiful, beautiful. First ball, <laughs> first ball. Um, okay, chat. So this uh, this low tad here is going to be our Ludicolo. We have ourselves Ludicolo on deck. <laughs> hey, Sachi, welcome in. Good to see you. Good to see you. Welcome in. Welcome in. Um, so yeah, what are we calling this Ludicolo, y'all? I am open to suggestions. We have a male Ludicolo on board. Uh, let me go ahead and get that put into the checklist real quick. Ludicolo. By the way, I don't actually update the Google Sheets in real time. I will update it every day after stream. So if you're waiting for it to pop up over there, it won't. <laughs> I could theoretically do that, but I have to figure out a good system for it. So in the meantime, uh, would I like to add Ludicolo to the checklist? Yes. Okay, perfect. Um, yeah, what are we calling you? Yeah, I had a feeling a lot of people would do the Mirror B thing. <laughs> I was thinking about it. I was thinking about it. El Colo? Well, I don't know what El Colo means. Um, let's see. Let's see. What? I need something that speaks to my heart here. What are we calling this friend? This this is dancing friend. DDR. <laughs> That's pretty good, Leap Cry. I do like that. I do like that. Um, what do we call you? Um... Hmm. Good name for a Ludicolo. I usually just call them Sombrero, but I feel like that's really boring. <laughs> I feel like that's really boring. Aw, dishes. That's pretty cute, Dapper Kirby. I do like that. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Um. Friday from Friday Night Funkin'. Friday. I can do that. Hey, I think I can get on board with that one. Friday. Why not? <laughs> why, why not? Why not? That's nice. That's nice. I like that. Kind of has a good energy. Even if you don't haven't played that game before, which I have not. I kind of like. I kind of like it. Kind of like it. I'll go with that one. I will go with that one. Thank y'all for the suggestions. I appreciate it. <laughs> or else it's just like, did I show up late? <laughs> I can't believe that's actually the second encounter, bruh. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> that's actually really funny. <laughs> yeah, it's really, like, actually insulting. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna kill it for XP. Yeah, no, I'm I'm angie. Like, where are the Whirlpools? Uh, the Poochianas and Whirlpools just vibing somewhere. They're out, they're out getting drinks or something. <laughs> <laughs> like the rarer encounters have been the only ones to show up. Give me that sweet, sweet XP, Ralts. You could have been on the team, but you play in. So hold on, this uh, this growling Ralts is making me not hit like at all. Beat up, let's go. There we go. <laughs> Made it happen. Made it happen. Okay, beautiful. So let's. Go and put. I need to go put that low tad away real fast. So yeah, into the into the PC it goes because we. Uh, that's, I was gonna say every time we catch a Pokemon, it's gonna be kind of annoying because I'll have to go drop it off real quick as well. Um, but that's okay. And yeah, now if anything happens uh, to one of our Pokemon, we will have a fully evolved Pokemon on deck to use. So that at least there's that like that little saving grace. If anything actually goes down, we will be able to add a Pokemon right away uh, that's fully evolved. So that that is handy at least. That is handy. No, I, li I don't. I like Lotat. I love Ludicolo, to be honest, Africa. But it's just like I wanted the Ralts because we could have gotten a we could have gotten a Lotat on route whatever it was next to Fall Arbor. Uh, but we can only get Ralts here, and we woofed it. So feels kind of bad, you know. <laughs> is it a full team run? No, unfortunately not. We just because we went with Blaziken. Uh, we do not have any Pokemon in the entirety of Hoenn that can evolve twice that we can actually catch. So it's going to be another five Mon run. Um, okay, now we can put Shelbert back out front. Sacrifice the Carvana to use Lotat. I mean, I've always been kind of opposed to sacrificing Pokemon. Strategically, it makes sense, I will say. It actually does make sense, especially since we're in Hoenn, where we can easily replace a Carvana. Um, it's not a terrible idea, but just I feel really bad about it. I feel dirty. I don't like to see the death counter go up if I can help it. So I'm gonna try and stick it out if I can. In y'all's runs though, if y'all wanted to do strategic sacrificing, I actually I actually see no qualms with that. Um I get too attached to my Pokemon though for it. <laughs> look at this, look at this absolutely jacked up move set on Shelbert. It's kinda nice. <laughs> 
for that sweet XP, Shelbert. You did it. All right, next up. Next up on the chopping block. Yeah, de deathless forever log. That'd be impressive. I don't think you could even do it. I'd be I'd be hella impressed if someone could actually do a deathless forever lock run. I feel like there's too much RNG involved to pull that off, you know? <laughs> I, could, I guess I could have skipped this encounter and then come back for the rolls. I suppose that would have been the safer play. But I guess I guess the logic was just like you know it's it's right here you know we we could have I don't know <laughs> that's actually not a terrible idea Arcanine I could have done that but that's okay it's not like we'll never be able to get a Ralts again we will we will get one like next time so yeah <laughs> beautiful. Next up on the chopping block. It's nice to it's nice to be back at Hoenn. It's been a long time since we've been to Hoenn, actually. I feel like when was the last actually can someone check the status for me in the Discord? When was the last time we went to Hoenn? I'm actually curious. I do not remember. Why did I surf the Zigzagoon? Sorry, Zigzagoon. <laughs> I guess I'll take the XP. Come back for Ralts at playthrough 108, I mean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, gaming so uh, I had to make a strategic death in my run. Uh, sacked Crobat to get Thunderous on my team. Very valid. Very. Va I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes, right? You gotta do what you gotta do. I'm not. I'm definitely not saying that I won't ever do a s strategic sacrifice, but I just like to avoid it if I can. Um, Carvana's pretty good in the early game, um, so yeah, we should be okay. Halo is coming out. Good for them. Um, actually, we'll just stay in. I think we'll just stay in with the with the Shelbert. <laughs> Who is, is gaming gaslighting me, a soul? <laughs> Rude. That's okay, though. <laughs> yeah, we could get... I mean, I probably won't do that, Arcanine, just because um, if, like, any Pokemon that I could get in Gen 3 or 4, because we're so short on Mons in those generations, I'm probably going to save them for 3 or 4. Um, anything like that. So, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll probably play... Um, what the plan is most likely going to be, just, I guess, in case y'all are curious. Um... This is playthrough 54. Um, playthrough 55 is going to be an all-in-one sitting playthrough of Gen 1 when I get back from vacation. On the day I get back is the actual Forever Lock second anniversary. Um, so I'm probably going to do Pokemon Yellow in one sitting. <laughs> so that should be interesting. Um, and then um, after that playthrough, I'm going to do Violet, most likely. So yeah, in the Violet run, I will probably be avoiding Gen 3 and Gen 4 Pokemon, or any Pokemon I could get in the Gen 3 and Gen 4 games, like the Plague, because I want to save them all for Gen 3 and 4, because they're so sparse on Pokemon right now. I mean, y'all saw the box. I didn't have a full box in Gen 3. <laughs> so uh, yeah, kind of wild. Kind of wild. Jackie says the last Hoenn run you did was Ruby and played through 41. Okay, yeah, so it's been a minute. It's been a minute since we did Hoenn. <laughs> Yeah, 13 games ago, apparently. That's that's kind of wild. That is kind of wild, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, we'll stay in. Wait, was it? What was it coming out? Meryl? That was eggs again. Okay, cool. We good. <laughs> we got a big an emerald. Big an emerald. Yeah. Hi, Rai. I hope you're doing well today. I did see you there. Okay, beautiful. Ooh, actually, there's an item down here, right? Let me grab whatever this is. Potion! I'll take it. I will take it. And yeah. No, I, what, what's particularly wild is, like, I've done a Hoenn game at playthrough, what was it, 41. Uh, but I, ha I, I legit have not done Sapphire specifically since the third playthrough, which was, you know, playthrough 3. <laughs> playthrough 3... All the way to play through 54 is how long it took me to actually play Sapphire again. <laughs> I think that's incredibly insane. Okay, let's go help Wally catch a Ralts, shall we? Uh, Sergeant says, to be honest, it's kind of hard to tell Ruby from Red apart in the Discord. Oh, yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> I tried to make them differentiated as best as I could. <laughs> But uh, only, only, only so much I can do with uh, you know different shades of red. Doesn't help that Pokemon tends to like have like sixty billion different versions that are all red. 
<laughs> so I have to make one that's different from like red to ruby to shield and all different colors. It's kind of tricky. It's kind of tricky. Okay. Bryce says, I'm not too bad spend su spending Sunday doing what it's what it's meant for, resting. Ah, very good, very good. Well, I hope you have a good a good rest, a good uh, good chill vibes on your on your Sunday. <laughs> That's good stuff. We're uh, we're starting. Uh, this is gonna be a long week. Um, I will say, um, because I'm gonna be going straight uh, every day, 12 p.m. Pacific time, starting today all the way through Thursday, just nonstop Sapphire, y'all. I hope y'all are excited for a lot of uh, a lot of Pokemon. A lot of Forever Lock content this week. Because, yeah, I'm going on vacation starting on Friday next week. Um, I'll be out of town for over a week. <laughs> so, um, I figured let's just go hard on Sapphire. Because, yeah, I, I want to both start and finish Sapphire before before I actually go on vacation. Which is the plan. So, yeah. <laughs> we'll see if we can pull that off or not. Uh, Sashi said Sapphire was the first loss, if I remember correctly. That is correct, Sashi. Yep, you got it. That was the, the first playthrough that we ever lost in the challenge, was uh, the original Sapphire run. We lost to Tate and Liza. <laughs> they were very rude. <laughs> they were also the the ones to kill the, 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 the challenge's first Jirachi. The first of many, many Jirachi. <laughs> Oh, you're doing chores? But, well, but you said resting. Re rest, Rye. Rest. <laughs> it's Sunday. You're supposed to rest. That's what they said. <laughs> Yay. Aw, oh, thank you so much, Jackie. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm excited. I'm excited to, to play. I'm excited to play. Um, and yeah, hopefully we do okay. It is it is a very, very risky looking run, like I said, just because there's so few mons in the box. And yeah, the starting team is a little rough around the edges, but um, hopefully we'll be okay. <laughs> Sashi said, I just witnessed the, the second Jirachi death. That one was brutal. I, that was probably Coliseum, if I had to guess, right? Was that Coliseum? You'll have to let me know. I don't remember. I don't remember specifics. <laughs> there's, there's been too many playthroughs. Uh, but I assume that that's the one. Because that one I that one still comes to mind for me as far as, like, what are some of, like, the, the saddest deaths in the series? Yeah, it's the, <laughs> the, the Coliseum Jirachi is definitely in there. <laughs> yeah, it was. Okay, cool. <laughs> I figured as much. I did, I did. I barely, I, I, I cannot believe I got to like, what was it, like the last two Pokemon or something in that? Oh, I got to switch. You probably don't have any grass moves, but still, I'm going to switch. <laughs> um, let's go into jeggings. Uh, yeah, no, I, I was like, I was like right at the finish line, right at the finish line with the, um, with the, uh, uh, Coliseum playthrough. Quite tragic. Quite tragic. Uh, and Abacurus says, the most recent Yanma death was basically Coliseum Jirachi Part 2. I have been losing a lot of that line, I feel like. I do feel like. I wonder what the... I, I imagine it might just be Jirachi straight up, but I wonder what the what Pokemon has died the most in the playthrough. I haven't, or I haven't like, really thought that hard about it. But I would wonder. So this biting seed out is really annoying. I'm not going to hit you while you're biting, you dummy. Yeah, crit ignoring buffs got you in the end. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Feels bad. <laughs> Feels bad. Stop biting. Oh my god, that's so annoying. <laughs> Stinking C dot. Uh, Arcanine says the first death of the Forever Lock is probably the most embarrassing with Joy accidentally evolving and therefore dying. Yeah, nope. I remember that too. That is, uh, that is the first, that, I guess that was the first death technic, oh no, was it? Didn't I lose a Spiro first? I think I lose, lost a Spiro first. I lost, um, I lost Spee, Spee the Spiro, I think is our first death. Um, so I think that was my second death, is accidentally letting Joy evolve, I think. Ooh, a crit. Okay, finally you don't go for bide, jeez. <laughs> Uh, Dapper Kirby says, pretty sure that nothing has died more than Jirachi, though maybe a couple mods have tied it by now. Yeah, yeah, that could be. That could be. It was, no, it was pretty embarrassing, yeah. I, I think that's the only time that's happened, though, hilariously. Um, I have got, I have been pretty good about that, like, uh, going forward. So at least there's that. 
Yeah, it was kind of embarrassing, but it's, it's cool. It's cool. I've moved. I've moved past it. I've moved past it. That was that was two stinking years ago. Like almost to the day. <laughs> Oh my god, chill out, Taylor. What the f Oh, you're level 8. Okay, that's why. <laughs> okay, hold up, hold up. We ain't playing games, Taylor. Chill out. Maybe I should grind a little bit. I probably should, actually. Let me... Let's swap back into Shelbert. Shelbert resists your, your moves there, Taylor. <laughs> oh yeah, I do remember. Yeah, I accidentally... I don't... Was that, was that the first playthrough, or was that a different... Uh, Kanto playthrough where I accidentally overwrote Pikachu's electric move. <laughs> yeah, it feels bad. It was like right before Misty too. <laughs> Sorry, I don't have the redemption anymore, Jackie. You can't get me, but I will go grind. I will go grind a little bit. Yeah, we could, we could use it. I want to get uh, Ember on on the Torchic anyway. Um, so yeah, let's really quickly. We'll take a quick detour. I'll throw up the grinding banner real fast. Bust into some speed up as well. Uh, ooh, that's so fast. <laughs> Why is it so fast? What the heck? Uh, and yeah, we'll knock out some some XP real fast. Let's just get uh, Jeggings and Shellbird up to level 10, shall we? Should be easy. Yeah, but the budget grind redemption, very nice. <laughs> yeah, no, sorry, sorry I did have to remove that, y'all. I know that a lot of people enjoyed that, that sort of redemption. Um, and, you know, I enjoyed it too, but it just, it sort of became problematic after a little while, so... Um, you know, things will, will come in and out of those redemptions. I'm still trying to come up with some more fun stuff for y'all to do with your points. Um, so we'll get there eventually. We will get there eventually. Oh, thank you for the water, Jackie. I appreciate it. Ooh, I'm running out of water in that bottle, though. I need to refill it. Okay. Keep it going, Shelbert. Oh, look at, look how fast Gen 3 speed up is. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I've missed this because Gen 4 is so stinking slow. After grinding as much as I did in Heart Gold, like, I'm so jazzed to be in Gen 3 where the speed up is so stinking fast. <laughs> Look how quick it is. Oh, I love it. Sorry, Puchiana, you had to take the blizzard because I ran out of surf. <laughs> okay, very good. Uh, let me swippy swappy to Jeggings. Uh, Dr. Curse says, for some reason, Pedalberg's music always hits me right in the field. It has a nice vibe of joy and hope. I know, it's so good. It's so good. I love Pedalberg. I love Pedalberg. Okay, finish you off. Almost there. Almost there. Just want Ember real fast. <laughs> we'll be good. Uh, Sachi says, I only redeemed it during the Detective Pikachu stream, so I feel like I got the most out of your points. <laughs> Very nice, Sachi. Oh, they see, there's a Surskit. Where were you at earlier? I could have used you, too. <laughs> I know that it's really, really rare on this route, actually. I think it's like, this might actually be a 1% encounter. I think Ralts is 4% and Surskit's 1%. Um, so, yeah. Look at the 1% Surskit showing up to party. Oh, and it has Bubble. <laughs> That's kind of scary, actually. It's okay, though. Okay, let me, let me go heal up real fast, just in case. Just in case, just in case. Yeah, I know. I've got a really cool Game Boy SP. It has pristine visual fidelity and built-in speed-up functionality. It's really, really cool. I know y'all are jealous <laughs> of my capture card Game Boy Advance SP. <laughs> uh, Voices says, uh, could you add a betting-like poll to use points? Or maybe, uh, like, maybe, like, will Lids encounter what she wants or go deathless in a battle? Uh, I, there's not, I definitely am not going to be including a lot of redemptions that, like, actually impact the challenge itself. Uh, but social aspects, I could consider adding. Um, I could do some sort of, like, betting thing, like, just to get points or something. Um, I have I have some ideas in mind. Um, just, uh, <laughs> I'll just have to ask for your patience on that for the time being. Um, while I figure out exactly what I want to do. Um, but there we go. We all, we're all grinded up, so now I feel good. Now I feel good. Let's uh, quickly heal up, and then we will carry on. Yes, my, uh, yeah, my very legit Game Boy, yeah, my Game Boy SP DX, um, you see, my uncle actually works for Nintendo, and, um, he hooked me up with a special, um, unreleased Game Boy Advance that, um, was supposed to come out in 2002, and, um, <laughs> and I have it, but no one else does. Take my word for it. Trust me, bruh. <laughs> 
Let me grab these berries. Uh, voices, the idea that you have to bet points, uh, bet the points you have between viewers, uh, wouldn't touch your gameplay. Yeah, yeah, no, that's true, that's true. Yeah, no, I got, I got some ideas. I got some ideas. That could be fun, that could be fun. Yeah, it's, um, it's actually shaped like, um, it's shaped like, uh, Shigeru Miyamoto's face. <laughs> it's really cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, six again, let's go. Get him, Jeggings. Now we got the stab, baby. The stab. Comes with Shrek the third. <laughs> Absolutely. Of course it does. Of course it does. <laughs> you know, it'd be, you'd be surprised, Star Champ. You'd be surprised. <laughs> okay, very good, Jeggings. I really like this name, by the way, Star Champ. Well, a good choice. <laughs> I don't know, I just, it has, like, the perfect energy. The perfect energy for a Blaziken. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. Oh, shit, wait. Do we have an encounter in here? Hold on, I gotta actually check. I've, I keep forgetting that we actually have Pokemon to catch in this run. Um, let's see here. Um, oh, yeah, we do. We need a Shroomish. Or a Slacking. Um, so, yeah, whichever we find first. Uh, uh, Slack off. We Fortunately, we have the whole Wurmple, Wurmple line. But yeah, so either Shroomish, Breloom, or Slacking, which obviously Shroomish or Breloom is still Shroomish. Um, but yeah, so that's uh, that's what we need in here. That is definitely what we need in here. Um, so yeah, in the meantime, uh, I will actually kill you for the XP, though. Easy XP. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, Dapper Kirby. Y'all get it. Y'all get it. <laughs> Okay, show me your secret, Spettleberg Woods. No, I don't want a Zigzagoon. Okay, let's use some, let's use some speed up real quick just so we can get um get our encounter. Okay, it's Shroomish. <laughs> Shroomish it is. Um, we will try and catch this friend. Um, let's see how do though. Um, you don't you don't surely you don't die to a scratch. All right, but be gentle, Jeggings. Okay, good. I could probably get away with another one. I can probably get away with another one. Oh, especially since it's uh, getting a teeny tiny bit of XP back. Very nice, very nice. Oh, it's nice to be back in Sapphire. I miss Hoenn. I always think about Hoenn, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> it's, it's fun, it's fun. I am excited to be playing this one. Okay, so let's chuck a ball at this friend and get it squared away, shall we? Pokeball, go. Should probably swap that Master Ball out of the first slot there. <laughs> Yay, we got it. Oh, Jet Sapphire is so weird. Ruby and Sapphire, I think, are the only games that do this, where the Pokeball doesn't actually click after you, after you, after it like successfully catches. It just stops moving. <laughs> it's kind of wild. Um, it is fixed in Emerald, but in yeah, in Ruby and Sapphire, yeah, it just it just stops moving when it's done. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, what? Let's make this the Breloom. I, I'm I'm feeling Breloom on this one. Um, let's see. Dr. Kirby says, since we had a shroomish called Apartment, can we call this one Shroommate? <laughs> I haven't done that name before, right? I don't know why that sounds kind of familiar to me. If, as long as I haven't done that name, I'm fine with that. Verify that I have it, and then then I will do that. Yeah, that's cute. <laughs> Shroommate. <laughs> that's really silly. I don't think I have, though. I don't think I have. Shroom. Wait, does it fit? <gasps> Oh, I think it does. Okay, cool. We're good. <laughs> Shroomate. Oh, that's cute. That's really cute. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with it. We'll go with it. I don't think we've used it before. Shroommate it is. <laughs> oh, two M's. Did I fuck it up? Oh, no. Um. Oh, but isn't roommate spelled with... Is roommate spelled with, with one M? I actually don't know if it is. Oh, my God. I can't spell anything. Uh, no, I guess it does have two M's. Okay. I will fix that in post. <laughs> I will fix that in post, I promise. Get out of here, Catwell. 
Hold on. Ember. <laughs> level level 11, yay. <laughs> I will, yeah, I'll, I'll get that. I'll get that uh, fixed up in PK Hacks after stream. Sorry about that, Deborah Kirby. But yeah, shroommate with two M's. Oh my god, they were shroommates. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Roommate is two M. Okay, got it. Got it, got it. Thank y'all, thank y'all. I see I can't spell, I can't do math. This is what I have chat for. I keep y'all around because y'all y'all give me the fundamentals that I did not receive in school. <laughs> it's good stuff. Okay, heal up real quick and pop into PC to drop off shroommate. Yay, shroommate. Um, and yeah, this will be this will be our Breloom. Um, let me go ahead and get that recorded real fast as well so I can update the sheet later. Um, let's say add Pokemon to the checklist. Breloom. Okay, perfect. Alright, let us carry on. Oh, and I can't tell time. That's also true. Like I said, no fundamentals. Not a single fundamental escaped with me from school. <laughs> I did drop out of high school for what it's worth, so I'll let y'all extrapolate what y'all want from that. <laughs> okay, let's go. I did get my GED. My good enough diploma. All right, here we go. Nope, no one died, Leap Crow. I was just dropping off our... Uh, we caught another Pokemon. Since we only have five Mons on the team, every time we catch something, I have to stop by the PC and drop it off because we can't use it on the team right now. <laughs> so yeah, no, we're good. We're good. Ooh, gaming's going for a lurk. Thanks so much for the lurk, uh, gaming. Appreciate it. Have a good lurk. As Soul says, Liz, if you can't tell t can't tell time or do math, then you would love the clock I posted. Oh, did you post a clock? I'll have to take a peek. I'll take a peek. What do we got here? I can find it in the Discord. Oh god, I hate that. I hate that a lot, Soul. <laughs> I'm not a fan. Not a fan. <laughs> That's very cursed. Uh, okay. Um, let's go to. How about Gil? Um, Gil is actually ready to start fighting now, so that's good. Okay, so yeah, let's surf it up, baby. Oh, have you never heard that before? Throw that. That's like one of my favorite things to to call a GED. I what's the what's it actually stand? For? I, I see. It's funny. I call it that so often. I don't even remember what it actually stands for. It's like general education, something. Something like that. <laughs> I don't remember. But whatever whatever it stands for. As far as I'm concerned, it's the good enough diploma. <laughs> Keep getting them, Gil. And I hardly ever use Carvana, I feel like. I feel like 9 times out of 10, if I use a Sharpedo, I caught it as a Sharpedo. General Education Diploma. That, I mean, that sounds right... <laughs> For some reason, I feel like the, the, the D doesn't stand for diploma, though. It could, though. It could. I don't remember. Okay, another one. Last one, Gil. You got this. Beautiful. Ooh, general educational development. Oh, okay, there you go. That sounds right, actually. General educational development. And then I think it's certificate, if you just put certificate at the end. So it's GED certificate. The so general education, educational development certificate. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, they're called GED tests. Yeah, yeah, basically, yeah, it's, it's, um, what's the, it's not one of those things that's like, it includes the, the, like, the actual, like, title in the acronym. You know, like, ATM machine. Stands, uh, it's automatic teller machine, but people call it an ATM machine, so it's automatic teller machine machine. <laughs> kind of funny. Um, it's not one of those, though. It's not one of those. Okay, let's put Gil out front. Dapper Kirby says, ATM machine makes me lol out loud. <laughs> Very well done, Dapper Kirby. Well done. <laughs> All right, let's go. And uh, a sin number? Sin, sin, I know pin number is like that. What's what's a sin number? 
Is that a thing? Or was that just a typo? You'll have to let me know. <laughs> I've never even heard of a sin number. Is that, is that a Canadian thing? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know anything. All right, Team Aqua, let's go. Maybe it's a Canada thing. Oh, social insurance number. Uh, that's probably a thing here, too. I'm just, that's like above my pay grade. <laughs> it's not Pokemon related. How can you expect me to know it? <laughs> Arcanine says ATM machine makes me shake uh, SMH my head. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Well done. Well done. All right, get out of here, Team Aqua. I save. I save the day. Oh, it's uh, oh, it's social security number for Canada. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. You know, I have never heard anybody call. I've only ever heard someone call it the social security number in the states. I've never heard anyone say SSN number for what it's worth. <laughs> yeah, EDM music. That's another one. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Kind of funny. The, you know, what's actually funny is I think that, hold on, can I remember how it goes? It's like, there's a word, there, there's there's like a word that like is an acronym that refers to the, the actual concept that is, is, is in of itself also like guilty of that same problem. <laughs> Forget what it is right now. Something like that. Department of Redundancy Department. <laughs> uh, very silly. Yeah, there's social. But social can also... I, I feel like... I, I agree. Never, I, do, I have heard people say, like, oh, yeah, what's your social? Um, but at the same time, I have also heard people call, like, on social media that as well. Like, in the same, like, you know, vernacular. So, like, yo, give me your socials. But, like, they're not talking about their social security number. They're talking about the, like, Facebook or whatever. Or Twitter. Or Instagram or... TikTok? I don't know. What do, what do kids use these days? Just TikTok, right? I don't know. <laughs> I'm getting old. RAS syndrome. That's the one, Star Champ. Yeah, redundant acronym syndrome syndrome. <laughs> yes, exactly. That is that is the one I was thinking of. Yes, RAS syndrome. <laughs> Very silly. Like, Yumi says, Liz is 19, but also old. I know, it's great. How does that even happen? It doesn't make any dang sense. It doesn't make any dang sense. We'll just have to sit here and not question it. <laughs> that's that's what we should do. That's what we should do. Okay, here we go. Out of Pelleberg with... We're making a good time here. Gosh darn. Gosh darn. Our bullet seed real quick. See, I know Hoenn so well. I know Hoenn so well. I know where everything is in this game. <laughs> Oh, I agree. Yeah, yeah. Those psychiatrists were having a fun name, fun time naming that one. Absolutely. Uh, Voices says, "Is Island Scan a good idea in a Sun or Moon run?" Absolutely, it is. Um, you can get some really, really cool Pokemon that way. Um, just keep in mind that you, um, you, you are not guaranteed to get the Pokemon that you're scanning for. Um, it becomes available as a possible encounter. So, like, just be careful with that, I guess. Um. But yeah, no, absolutely. I've I have uh, p multiple Pokemon that I got via Island Scan in uh, Alola. So yeah, absolutely, go for it. Okay, run away. Let me grab these items real quick. There's one here. If I remember right. There's one on that far right as well. I get out of here. Oh, it's that. Wasn't that one? Maybe it's this one. There it is. Got it. Beautiful. Uh, the other thing, too, uh, with, with Island Scan voices is uh, it's day dependent. So you might not necessarily be able to, like, actually properly Island Scan for a, a cool encounter if it's not the correct day of the week. So I, w I definitely recommend looking up a um, a, a table of all of, the, all of the possible Island Scan encounters and what day that they're available on and in wh which location they're available in. Um, cause yeah, otherwise you just won't, it just won't work for you and you'll waste all your, you'll waste your, your you'll waste your opportunity to use your points. Um, so yeah, I recommend looking up a table. Okay, Shelbert, let's go. VIN number and ATV vehicle. Yes, those are also examples of that. Absolutely. Did Mamoswine get crit too? Uh, it did. <laughs> it did, SBS, actually. <laughs> uh, unfortunately. Um, we were doing really good too against Lance yesterday, but, um, got unlucky. What can I say? 
What can I say? Okay, Zigzagoon goes down. Well done, Shelbert. Oops, hello. <laughs> I forgot you were here. I do remember that now, though. Yeah, it's uh, it, it's nice being back in Hoenn, though. I've missed it here. I've missed it here. It's so um, it's so nostalgic for me. Very nostalgic. I played this game like crazy when I was younger. Um, I kind of want to switch though. I don't think it's gonna have any water moves. I don't think. How about, eh, let's go to Pinkies. Why not? Let's go to Pinkies. Ha! Got you, bitch. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Okay, give them the strength, pinkies. Let me show you the strength of my pinkies. We got a trivia question from uh, from uh, Soul Flame. It says, "What's the highest evolution level needed for a Pokemon?" Oh God. Um, the highest level needed for the evolution of a Pokemon. Um, it's got to be like Hydreigon, right? It's like. 60 what is high dragon it's like 65 or something like that 64 i'm gonna go 64 final answer 64 high dragon that's what i'm going for <laughs> that's the only one i could think of okay shroomish uh let's go into that'll be let's do jeggings So, oh, 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 uh, 64 High Dragon was right. Yay! <laughs> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I, I did the thing. I did the thing. <laughs> Ooh, you live in... Oh, but you get the burn. Get fucked, Shroomish. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> Sorry, Shroomish. All right, very good. Drag Wait, wait, is Dragapult 60? Oh, interesting. I didn't realize it was that high. Yeah, Unova, Unova was pretty infamous for those, like, really, really stupidly high levels. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> it, it doesn't surprise me. Oh, that's right. Double battles don't auto-fight you in this. I'm almost tempted to skip it, but I kind of want the XP, so... They have a... I want to say they have a... Is it Lotad and CDOT, or is it Shroomish and CDOT? I can't remember. Um... Let's do... I'm gonna do Jeggings and Pinkies for this one. I think that sounds good. Let's do it. Uh, Pokepatchy says, Having nearly twice as many deaths as Hall of Fames is so tragic. I know, it feels bad. <laughs> it feels bad, it feels bad. It's okay, it's okay, because it's never gonna go up. That death counter's gonna stay at 362 forever. Um, and you absolutely cannot challenge me on that. <laughs> <laughs> It'll never happen. <laughs> so you just gotta you just gotta go into it with un unrequited uh confidence and then you'll be okay. <laughs> then you'll be okay. Hold on, let me rearrange here. Uh strength on low tad, ember on C dot. Very good. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. You got the Cyndaquil and Moon. I, I assume that must have been the uh, island scan, right, voices? Very nice. Very nice. Well done. Well done. I got uh, Tots, actually. Our Totodile that we got into the Hall of Fame in Ultra Moon is from Island Scan, I believe. If I remember, right? I don't know where else it would have been from, so it has to be. Um, okay, cool. Let's do... I mean, these fishermen are kind of a problem, though. I don't really have good options against them. No, not Lakuta. Not Lakuta. Hold up. Hold up. Uh, let me swap... Does Shelbert have another move other than Surf? Hold on. What does it have? Oh, it's just Blizzard. I can't really do anything with that. <laughs> it's actually quite funny. But it has Rain Dance? Is that what I saw? Yeah, Rain Dance. I need to get a better move than that. Um, Let's see. Let's see. I think I miss. I think I missed some contacts here in the chat. I'm not really sure what y'all are talking about, but that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. I can continue to be oblivious. That's all right. Uh, here, I'll do Gil out front. Let's do that. 
We'll fight this fisherman with Gil. Oh, and I'll take these berries real quick, too. Gimme. Give Gimme. Give Up a very good. I think she gives me one, too. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You know what's funny is we could, we probably could just straight up fight Roxanne, like, right now. We'd, we'd probably be okay. We have Surf. <laughs> we have Surf. I probably shouldn't risk it. I probably should at least clear out Root, whatever that is, next to uh, Rust Turf Tunnel. But uh, it's tempting, right? It's tempting to just run up into uh, Roxanne and try for it. <laughs> uh, okay, so fight the Magikarp. Uh, Sergeant says, uh, just asking what three Pokemon are the lowest level based evolutions? Oh. Um, lowest level based evolution. When you say that, do you mean, like, the lowest Pokemon to evolve at, at a level? Because, like, I guess, like, I feel like seven, right? Like, seven for Metapod and all them? Or do you mean, like, like to the fully evolved form? If it's to the fully evolved form, I think it would be, like, nine for... Is it... Is, is this Beepa nine? I can't remember, actually. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't know the full context. It's it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> What are, the, what are the names of the three lowest um, X, X Evos? Wait, X Evo? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. <laughs> lowest fully evolved is Krikatune at 10. Oh, is it? Oh, very cool. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. I'm a little confused because the uh, chat's kind of giving me mixed messages here, but that's all right. That's all right. <laughs> Me being in a natural state of confusion is already confusing enough on its own, so it's it's cool. It's cool. <laughs> yeah, we made it to Rust Boro. Heck yeah, heck yeah, we made it. We made it. Oh hey Storm, welcome in. Hey Lids, I've got super. Uh, I've got a super so totes important question for you uh, before I go back to lurking. Oh yeah, what's up Storm? Hit me up. Hit me up. What what you got cooking? All right, I'm in a, I'm in a silly mood today. <laughs> Like, all over the place. You know what it was? You know what I think it is? I actually got some good sleep last night. That's why I'm kind of jovial today. I'm kind of jovial today. Oh, Bex, thank you, folks. Thank you so much for the sub at tier one. Oh, my gosh, eight months. That's crazy. That's crazy. It's good to see you, Bex. I've missed you. I missed you. I haven't seen you in chat in a while. I hope you're doing well. We got cut. Yay. Yay, yay, yay. Uh, the Rosak says, please explain your questions more clearly. Lids can't tell time. It's true. It's true, the Rosak. It's true. I, I you have to be very, very clear with me because I will get confused. I am I am a very simple child. I'm a very simple, very simple 19-year-old child who has no brain cells. <laughs> um, okay, cool, cool. Um, let's see. Um looking at my list here real quick. What do we need? Because I think we need something on this route, right? Pretty sure. Let me see. Yes, we do. We need... Okay. Actually, we need both Skitty and Exploud. Um, so I should try and get to Rust Turf Tunnel first, right? If I go to Rust Turf Tunnel first, that's a guaranteed, um, guaranteed Wismer. And then we can hunt for the Skitty afterwards. So yeah, I think that's what we should do. I think that's what we should do. Beck says, I'm doing okay. Busy with work. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling nice and chipper because I got some good sleep last night, like I said. So I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Um, uh, Storm says, okay, so I decided yesterday I want to try making my own ROM hack. So for any mods available in Gen 4 and below, are they, are are there any buffs, nerfs, or type changes or abilities you'd want to see? Um, I'm not really the person to ask Storm, if I'm being honest with you, because I'm not, I'm really bad at that sort of thing. Um... As far as like, what would I want to see? You said Gen Four. Uh, not, uh, not specifically. I wouldn't say. Um, you could do. I don't know. Um, make Hitmon top good. <laughs> That's all I got for you. Make Hitmon top good. It's my second favorite Pokemon, and Audino is not in Gen Four, obviously. So, add Audino to the game. <laughs> I'll say if you're wrong hacking it anyway, put Audino in just for me. Just for me, I'll take that. I'll take that. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, I don't, I don't think I have anything specific for you, Storm, but, um, either way, though, best of luck with the project. That's always fun. ROM hacks are fun. 
Um, if you feel like it, we have a channel for for just that topic in um, in the Foreverlock Discord, and there's lots of people over there who would definitely be willing to like give you some give you some ideas or pointers or what have you. Um, so yeah, definitely um, definitely pop in there and chat. I know Yumi's really big into ROM hacks and all that stuff, so um, yeah, t uh, hit up Yumi in the Discord. Uh, I'm sure she'd be happy to give you some ideas. She's working on her own as well, so yeah, totally a thing, totally a thing. Um, okay, let's beat this guy up. Yeah, I'm gonna try and get to Rest Turf Tunnel without bumping into anything. I don't think I have a rappel. Maybe I do. Ooh, this is actually kind of sketchy. Hold up. Hold up. I'm not trying to catch like a karate chop or something like that. Um, let me go into... I guess I'm gonna go into jeggings. <laughs> Focus energy. Don't hit me too hard, okay? <laughs> Let me ember you. Oh god, that didn't do a whole lot of it. Oh god. No, 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 no. Hold up, hold up. Machop, I need you to chill with the focus energy and the leer. I need you to not. I need you to not. Okay, Lakuda, come out. <laughs> Lakuda, come out and deal with this man for me. Okay, just give him the strength. Get out. Get out. <laughs> okay, cool. That was scaring me for a second. I wasn't trying to let him set up with the focus energy and the minus one defense. No, 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 no. We ain't playing that game. Yeah, I, I agree with Star Champ. Yeah, make triple kick more like triple axle. That would be cool. Just make him on top good. I love him on top. It's like one of my favorite Pokemon. So I would just, I would adore that. Do I have a repel? I don't. Please don't show up, Wismer. I'm begging you. Look away. Look away. There we go. Okay. Uh, no whisper. 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 Okay, we're good. <laughs> you just have to will it to be that way. Ooh. Okay. Okay. One more patch of grass. Okay, we're good. I'll fight this guy. I don't care. I didn't. I didn't get any repels. I was being lazy. <laughs> I was being lazy, Sol. I could have probably bought some in Rustboro, but I'm a clown, so it's fine. Okay, well, we're gonna body this Geodude right quick. Beautiful, beautiful. No, I think you I think you can. I was just being lazy. I, I was just being lazy, Jackie. I didn't feel like going back. <laughs> it's okay, we made it. We made it across. We're fine. Never, never underestimate my ability to be unprepared for any given situation. <laughs> I'm really good at that. It's something I pride myself on. Hey, Gil hits level 12. We're doing so good. Oh, I need to swap to uh, Shellbird, actually. Shellbird's falling behind. I gotta get you up there, my friend. I suppose I should probably grind a little bit. If not for Roxanne, maybe just for, like, the fact that I actually do want to be nice and prepared for, uh, Brawly. Brawly has fucked me up in the past. <laughs> so I gotta be careful. I remember, I think the, the second shortest run that we've had in the entire challenge was an Emerald one. Emerald run where, uh, Brawly absolutely savaged my team. Um, granted, that was Emerald, which is a tiny bit harder, but still. Um, gotta be prepared. Gotta be prepared. But first and foremost, let's grab ourselves the X Plowed. Um, this will this will replace. Uh, shit, what was his name? We used an X Plowed. Uh, a lot of people first joined in the in the Leaf Green run. What was our X Plowed's name? Why can I not think of it right now? Um, we're gonna be replacing that X Plowed. Uh, this is the first time we've had the opportunity. Uh, Yamaha, Yamaha, that's what it was. Yeah, Yamaha, Yamaha, yay! <laughs> yeah, we'll be replacing Yamaha today. And there they are now. Do you want to just stay in a ball, Wismer? That'd be really cool. How about a great ball? Save me some time, please. Hey, very nice, very nice. They were just like, "Yep, I'll do, I'll do that, I'll do that for you, I'll take that." <laughs> this is beautiful. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, we got ourselves a lovely explode. Let me add that to the um, add that to the checklist. And yeah, what are we calling this new explode, y'all? I am open to suggestions. 
I am open to suggestions. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, I just got a good stretch in there. Oh, oh I needed that. <laughs> that felt good. That felt good. Uh, another music brand name, Steinway. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Uh, Mozart. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, Boombox. I do like Boombox. Um, hmm. Hmm. I'll know how I am. I'm I'm very I'm very particular. It has to have just the right energy <laughs> for me to for me to go for it. Um, and that that energy is like fluctuates too, so like it's kind of hard to say. Hey, oh Cassio, mm, I do like Cassio. Oh, I kind of like it. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go with that one. Thanks for the suggestions, everybody. Cassio Cassio hits right. Cassio hits right for sure. Yep, I like it. I like it. <laughs> Yamehameha, that's really funny, Psycho Sausage. <laughs> yep, Cassio's the one. That's the one. That hits just right. That hits just right. Okay, so this next one's gonna be kind of tricky, because we need to find a Skitty, and they're kind of rare, um, but we're gonna try for it. We will try for it as soon as this uh, this friend gets out of our way. Sorry, Whismer, I'm not playing games with you. Okay. Into the grass we go. Let's find ourselves a skitty. And I guess I can fight this trainer now, too. Um, which I will do with Shelbert real fast. But first, skitty. Nope, oh, Ninkada. We don't need that, right? I don't think... No, we have Ninjask and... Yeah, no, yeah we're good. <laughs> I know we have we have Ninjask and Ninkada in the Hall of Fame already. Um, so it, should, it would just be Shedinja, which we have in the box. <laughs> so we good, we good. I will hit you for Surf, though. I will hit you with Sir for the free XP. Wahoo! Look at you go, Shelbert. Moving up in the world. Alright, let's fight the fight the rest of the trainers real fast. I am probably still going to grind a little bit though. <laughs> I like I said, I'm not feeling comfortable enough to go into Roxanne. And I'm definitely not feeling comfortable to go into Brawly, like, immediately afterwards. So, yeah, I'll just want to make sure I'm on top of things. How much does Surf do to you? I'm curious. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. Actually, we'll get Rock Tomb from um, Roxanne. So, you know what? I could probably just teach teach you Rock Tomb, and then we'll be in a lot better shape here, Shelbert. <laughs> right now, you are not doing great damage, my friend. For the time being. Okay, Meryl goes down. Not too shabby. Okay, and I believe uh, Delcaddy, the new Delcaddy will be replacing, uh, I think we had Lavrina, if I remember right. Lavrina the Delcaddy. Um, I think that was, was that also the Leaf Green playthrough? I think it was. I think that was the only other Gen 3 run we've done recently, so it had to have been. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing. Me. Might as well grind, like, while we're waiting for the skitty. <laughs> Could take a while. Yeah, see, there's that Wismer we were avoiding. Very good. Another Ninkata. There's level 12. Luckily, Surf one-shots, like, literally everything, so that's good. Come on, where are you, skitty cat? Where are you? The death before Yamaha. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. It is, uh, it is kind of nice that y'all are able to more easily check that sort of thing in the, uh, the Google Sheets. I is it, like, would y'all say that it's, like, significantly easier to use than, um, than the Discord was or not? Nah? I'm just curious, like, uh, what's the, what's the consensus? Do y'all, do y'all like it, do y'all like it more or less? I know Dapper Kirby said that they like it more, um, which is cool. I like that. <laughs> just gonna heal up real fast. Um... But yeah, no, it's um, I'm 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 a big fan of of how easy it is to find information in it. I will say, it's a lot easier to just like type in what what I'm looking for, um, there than it is um, you know, to type in the dex Pokemon name. Obviously, like a lot more, and the Discord's kind of laggy. So, <laughs> um, so yeah. Oh, you've yet to check out the sheet. You should check it out, Soul. It's a uh, if you go to the status the status uh, ch uh tab in Discord, uh, there's links to it. So. Uh, yeah, just, uh, take a peek at it. It's, uh, I put a lot of work into it, so, yeah. I'm always, I'm always looking for feedback on it, so, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad y'all like it. I'm glad that y'all, like, that That seems to be the consensus, is that it is just, like, kind of better. Um, that's really good. That makes me, that makes me happy. 
I did really like it all being in one spot, but it is what it is. Here, I'm going to get rid of Rain Dance, um, <laughs> just so I can actually have a move to use that isn't Blizzard or Surf. <laughs> okay, how are we doing levels-wise? What's everybody looking like? Uh, we're level 13 here. I figure level 13 is across the board, save for Lakuta. I think that sounds reasonable. Oh, I got to put Cassio away at some point, too, but we should be fine to get the Skitty real fast. Halo, nope, can't do it. Right? Wait, do we have a Swallow in the Hall of Fame? Do we have a Taylor right now? Why am I questioning that? I am questioning that. Um. Yeah, we do, apparently. We have a Taylor, according to my chart here. Yeah, we should be good. We should be good. Bonk. Probably in, like, Oris or something like that. Come on, where are you? Wait, why am I still using you? Let me swap to someone else. Um, let me do you. Show me the skitty. Gotta show up eventually. Come on, where are you? <laughs> is it like a 1% encounter? I think it is, <laughs> which is rough, but it should show up eventually. I think in the past we haven't had too much trouble, but... Looks like that might be different this time. <laughs> Well, at least we got to level 13 on Gil. That's good. Uh, let's swap to Pinkies. Maybe maybe a fellow Moonstone Pokemon will uh, will appeal to it. Nope. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. The double slap? Nah, we don't need that. No, no, no. Stop learning double slap. There we go. That's what I get for spamming speed up. <laughs> okay, swap to jeggings. Beck says, "Oh, I love Clefairy. Such a great song. I know it's so cute. I love Clefairy too. I've been I've been getting more and more endeared to Clefairy and Clefable as the years have gone on. I used to not like them nearly as much as uh, as Wigglytuff and Jigglypuff, but honestly, they're kind of like neck and neck these days. Although all of them pale in comparison to Scream Tail. <laughs> I love Scream Tail to death." Love that Pokemon so much. Definitely up there as far as my uh, Gen 9 mons go. Okay, well, we're 13s across the board, so at this point, I just kind of have to wait for Skitty to show up. <laughs> Come on, Skitty. I'm like, will, will someone check for me? It is 1% encounter here, right? Like, I don't have to... I know it can show up with a swarm, but I don't think I need it to be a swarm, right? Hopefully I'm not wasting my time. I'm pretty sure it just shows up normally. Just, like, really rarely. What do I think of the Clefairy Gengar theory? I mean, it's cute, but it's... I mean, there's, like, zero substantiating evidence. <laughs> it's... it's. I wouldn't give it... I don't. I definitely don't don't buy it. Um, sorry if that's, like, kind of boring. <laughs> also, Talo is apparently faster than my Torchic, so that feels bad. Come on, Skitty, where are you? It's 2%? Dang. We are getting pretty unlucky here with how many encounters we've had here. Come on, where are you? Gotta show up eventually. Oof, we are getting really unlucky here. <laughs> I love Screamtail. Yeah, I don't know why. I just love it. I love I the the makeup really does it for me. And her Majin Boo her Majin Boo tail thing. I guess it is a tail, but she's called Scream Tail. <laughs> yeah, it's good stuff. Good stuff. Where are you, Skitty? Come on. 2% is, like, low, but, like, how many encounters have I gotten now? <laughs> I hope I don't run from the Skitty. I've definitely had that happen before. Okay, nope, we're good. We're good. Hands off. Hands off. We're good. There it is. We found it. <laughs> we found it. We found it. Okay. Um, what do I want to fight you with? Um, let's go... I mean, does Scr Scratch doesn't kill from here, right? At level 8? Uh, probably not. Not stab or nothing. Can we go? <laughs> Jeggings is infatuated. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> That's okay, we'll, try we'll chuck a ball here. We will chuck a ball here and call it a day.
Uh, Soul says, I'm going to get attacked for this. I hate... Oh, wow. Really? Oh, yeah. That is a problem, Soul. <laughs> I love Skitty. It's cute. I'm a, I was a Skitty in Mystery Dungeon. How dare you, Soul? How dare you? No, it's fine. If you have that opinion, it's fine. <laughs> it's a wrong opinion, and you should feel bad, but it's fine. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um... But yeah, no, I like Skitty. I've been, I've, that Mystery Dungeon playthrough really made me a lot more endeared to it as well. So what can I say? What can I say? Okay, we got ourselves the Skitty. Very good. Um, so yeah, this will be our Del Caddy. Um, this will, this will be our Del Caddy. Let me get that recorded real fast. And I am open to nickname suggestions if anybody has any. Um, Del Caddy... Uh, Arcanine says, can you name it after my cat, Leah? Yeah, I can. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Leah, it is. Leah, it is. Leah. Leah, the... That's a really cute name for a Delcaddy, too. <laughs> I like it. I like it. It has the perfect... The perfect energy. Um, so, yeah, there you go. Ooh, that is a good name, Throzette. That is really good. But, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go with Leah on this one. <laughs> um, yeah, very good. Very good. Yeah, I've, I've, I've named quite a few Pokemon after folks' as pets in the past. Um, I was so really bad when we wind up letting them go down, though. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't happen to this uh, this particular Delcaddy. And you know what, too? I actually have a Moonstone for it. I'm not going to use it because I might want that Skitty to learn some different moves. But I will go ahead and give the Moonstone to the... Um, I'll let it hold... Oh, wait, it's not on my party, right? Because I still have Cassio. Let me put Cassio away. Uh, let me just do this real quick. And take... Leah here, swap you, and I just want to give you this Moonstone, because I remembered that I had it from earlier. Just give it to you. It's funny that if you don't use the Moonstone on it, it doesn't work, but if you give it to it, it, it doesn't evolve. <laughs> it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but that's okay. These are out of order, but I'll sort them later. Okay, beautiful. So yeah, I think uh, we do need to heal up real quick, but yeah, I think we're ready to take on Roxanne, honestly. I do, I do think we are. We've got some... We got got our encounters all squared away. I think that's all of them. What's our next encounter, actually? I'm curious. This is the next place that we need to go to to get one. Um, let's see. Um, oh, it'll be Granite Cave. Very good. Very good. We need a lair on. We need a lair on. To replace... I think it was Blair, right? We used a lair on named Blair. Am I remembering the right lair on? I think we've used a few, actually. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's, um... Oh, where, where, where am I going? Can we heal? Okay, yeah, we're good. Sorry, I'm, I'm all over the place. I'm all over the place. Okay, really quickly, before we pop into the gym, though, real fast, I am going to get a quick refill on coffee. Um, I'll run a quick ad, and then um, upon my return, um, we will take on the first gym of our Sapphire run. Very exciting stuff. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned, everybody. I will be back in just a hot second. So, yeah, stay tuned, everyone.
Okay, everybody, I have returned. Thank you all for your patience. Um, okay, so, look at the squad. I think we'll be okay. <laughs> it's the first gym. It's uh, it's rock types. We have these surfers. <laughs> I think we'll be all right. Um, so, yeah, let's do it, shall we? Up on in, and we'll knock out these trainers real fast. Should be pretty dang quick. <laughs> pretty quick, pretty, pretty quick. Oh, but yeah, it's been been nice hearing all this uh, nostalgic Hoenn music. I haven't gotten to hear it in a while. <laughs> I mean, I did play um, a personal run of Emerald while I was working on a Living Dex, but uh, I played it on actual hardware, so I didn't hear it like I didn't hear the music as like uh, clearly as I can hear it now because I'm obviously I'm wearing my headphones and stuff like that. Um, so uh, yeah, it's it's nice. It's nice to have Hoenn music playing in my ears right now. <laughs> I love it. Hopefully, y'all love it too. Oh, and music's so good. Oh, and music's so sticking good. <laughs> Playing these games reminds me of a simpler time. <laughs> a simpler time where I didn't have to care about the the going ons of the world. It's just I was just I just play Pokemon in my room. <laughs> good stuff. Looks like Shelbert's gonna be the first to hit level 14. Very nice. Oh yeah, yeah, my bad, my my bad, Arcanine. I mean, I mean, I played it on, I played it on non, uh, non Shigeru Miyamoto shaped, um, uh, Game Boys. I played it on a not on a, on a, a a standard model. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Dapper Kirby. Now, now I'm playing Pokemon in my room with people watching. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, let's have Gil come on in now. Knock this guy out. Okay. Get him with the surf. Do the big work. <laughs> surf so busted this early on. I mean, is anyone going to be surprised if we absolutely destroy Roxanne? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. All right, let's do it, girl. Hello, I am Roxanne, the Restboro Pokemon Gym Leader. I became a gym leader so that I may apply when I learned at the Pokemon Trainer School in battle. Would you kindly demonstrate how you battle and with which Pokemon? Let's go! Badge number one. Hit him with the Surf. Yeah, Gil ain't scared of your Geodude. Sorry, Charlie. <laughs> okay, here comes the nose pass. Only one Geodude and a nose pass in this game, unlike Emerald. <laughs> does the Surf one shot nose pass as well? Nope. Nope, it does not. The four times does make a difference there, but not that big of a difference. <laughs> not that big of a difference. Goes for the potion. You scandalous. So scandal she might actually still live, but that's okay. <laughs> that is okay. Yeah, she just barely holds on. She's she yeah, this, this one I don't think she will. <laughs> All she has is potions. And there it is. Easy peasy. And just like that, we get ourselves our first gym taken care of. I still have much more to learn. I understand. Pokemon League rules state that trainers are to be given this if they defeat a gym leader. Please accept the official Pokemon League stone badge. Only Lids is allowed to spam potions. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. These NPCs just won't get with the program. There we go. Boom. First badge. Dabakari says I was sweating there in that one. Or maybe it was Surf Splashback. <laughs> very nice, Dabakari. Very nice. Very nice. I mean, with two water types on the squad, I don't think any of us were worried. <laughs> Hell, even without them, we probably would have been fine, honestly. Um, but yeah, good stuff. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay, so yeah, let's go and deal with, um... Let's go and deal with Mr. Briny's situation. Get out, get out of the way! Wait, please, don't take my good... I don't know what accent this is, but we're going with it. <laughs> Really silly. Let me heal up real quick and then we'll run and do that real fast. Run and do that real fast. And uh, after, after probably after we um, 
I don't know. Do y'all want to... Hmm. Should I get to Granite Cave and get that encounter, or should I save that for tomorrow's stream? I think about maybe saving it for tomorrow's stream. I think that sounds reasonable. Look at it at the time. It will knock out... Maybe we will get to Duford, and that's what how we'll end today's stream. I think that sounds reasonable, right? Oh, it's you. You're the fantastic trainer who helped me in Petalburg. What is this voice I'm doing? I have no idea. Help me. I was robbed by Team Aqua. I have to get the David Goods back. If I don't, I'm going to be in serious trouble. I have no idea what accent that is. <laughs> I'm not even going to try and explain that one. Oh my goodness, right? I'm glad I'm not the only one who who thinks that. Um, who 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 makes that that joke? Because yeah, it's it's funny. Is that was the German? Was that what that was supposed to be? I'm not even sure. I'm not even sure. Yumi says, "Do we even learn what the Devon Goods even were, or why Aqua wanted them?" I actually, I think we, I think there's an NPC somewhere who says what they were. I think they're parts for the uh, submarine, if I recall correctly. They're, they're, they're basically just like, yeah, like, like key components to the submarine. But, um, nothing more specific than that, I don't think. <laughs> oh, what am I to do? We were out on a walk. P How, was Pika walking or flying, Mr. Briny? Actually, that would be kind of cute. <laughs> Can you imagine a little, little goofy wingle borb just like tip tapping around on the ground <laughs> for like, for like miles? Oh, that's funny. The scoundrel made off with my darling Pico. Oh, Pico. <laughs> but like off brand Scandinavian, is that what it is? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Walking is how Pico stays in shape. Sh that shape is Borb. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Have y'all seen have y'all seen uh, Wingle whenever he he's in like Pokemon Ami? He's so cute. His like wings fold up. It's really adorable. <laughs> it's really, really adorable. All right, let's go, Team Aqua. Maybe, maybe Pika was on him and he was walking. Oh, that's a good point. That that could have been it. That could have been it. Or maybe Mr. Briny was on Pico, considering that I mean Pico can learn fly, so like. If you can fly on top of a wingle, then why couldn't you just stand on top of a wingle while it walks around? You know what I mean? <laughs> Seems legit. Seems legit to me. This is played not right. The boss told me this would be a slick and easy job to pull. All I had to do was steal some package from Devin. Shh, you want it back that badly? Take it. Yay, we got Devin goods. Pico, am I glad to see you're safe. Pico owes her life to you. They call me Mr. Briny, and you are? <laughs> he waited endlessly for her to respond. She never did. <laughs> ah, so your lids. Oh, he, he came up with that on his own. I sincerely thank you. Now, if there's anything that troubles you, don't hesitate to tell me. You can usually find me in my cottage by the sea near Pedalburg Woods. Come, Pico, we should make our way home. E yo ho Oh, you singing the One Piece opening. Let's go. Uh, Dapper Kirby says when they fly, Pico grabs his, his beard and his, and his little flippers and flies off. Oh, <laughs> that's cute. Kind of cute. Run right away. Okay, so yeah, let's go meet up with Mr. Briny, and we will take a take a, a trip to Dufert. Duf Dufert? Duferd. There we go. Nailed it. Um, I guess there is also these trainers I could fight. Uh, do I want to fight them? I'd have to teach something cut. And that's kind of lame. Maybe I just skip those trainers. <laughs> like I don't want to have to. I don't want to have to learn cut. I think that's the only thing in the entire game that like actually requires cut to like go over there. So like, yeah, I probably. I'm probably just gonna skip it. I'm just gonna skip it. Oh, I didn't grab. Oh, I didn't fight you. Oops. Well, let's fight this guy real fast. <laughs> I totally forgot to fight this guy. Surf all over him real fast. Aw, <laughs> that's cute. That's cute. <laughs> yeah, flying Pokemon are silly. Flying Pokemon are silly. Okay, let's go into Pinkies. 
When you get scared of a bug, a bug catcher, you show them your pinkies. Sound advice from Lids. You're welcome. Ba boom. Ninkato's actually kind of creepy. <laughs> I will say, like the more I look at it, it is a little creepy. It is a little creepy. A little, little, little too buggy for my taste. Very good. Well done. Yeah, I had a feeling you'd say something like that, Yumi. <laughs> I had a fe I had a funny feeling. Okay, grab this. Hey, hey there's that repel. If we just grabbed this item real quick, we could have been fine to get to get to that Wismer a little easier. But that's okay. Fossey says that I just hear bug slander. I know. I don't. I'm not a big. I'm not a big fan of bugs, like IRL bugs. So like, I like cartoon bugs. Um, if um. I was gonna say I like bug Pokemon, most of them, but the the more they look like an actual bug, the less I like them. <laughs> I like it when they're very like cartoonified, like animeified. Colors are a bit drab. Fair enough, Dapper Kirby. Fair enough. Fair enough. I like Ninjask a lot. Ninjask is awesome. He's not too. He's not super buggy looking because he kind of looks like he's wearing like a ninja hood. I like him. Yep, yeah, you got it, Ar Arcanine. You've probably heard me say that before. Yeah, I don't like Larvesta because its butt looks too buggy. <laughs> it looks too much like an actual like cockroach or something. Kind of gross. Kind of gross. But that's just that's just me. That's just me and my dumb opinions. Oh, Shedinja rules. I love Shedinja. That's a good one. That's a good one. I like his halo a lot. I just don't look at his butt. I well, I can't not look at his butt when I use him, right? Because it's the it just thrusts in my face. It's the only thing I can see when I use a when I use a um, Larvesta in Gen Five or uh, I guess just Gen Five. Because <laughs> yeah, it spins around when it's Gen Six. But yeah, still, still, I don't have a choice sometimes, you know. Just put a hat on its butt. Yeah, I should do that actually. That's a good call, Arcanine. <laughs> Okay, let's bounce. Just evolve it. Oh, true. True, but when I actually have to use Larvesta Larvesta, um, I'll have to look at the, the bug butt. I don't want to look at the bug butt. <laughs> Bryce says, I hate it when a butt is just thrust in my face. I know, it's it's a problem. It's an ongoing epidemic, for being real. <laughs> Dava Kirby says, why are we shaming Larvesta for having a butt? You have the power not to stare. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's so buggy looking. <laughs> Sartan says I dislike Spide Ops a lot. You don't like Spide Ops? I think he's kind of cool. I think he's kind of underrated, actually. I don't like love love him, but like I actually rather like him. I like he he's a spindle. He's a, he has a spindle on his butt. It's kind of cute. Okay, Mr. Briny, we coming for you. Thorazak says, I kind of like butts in my face, though. Oh, wait, Pokemon? Never mind. I was going to say, yeah, that's a... I mean, you know, if you're, if you can be into what you're into, Thorazak, I guess. They are fictional creatures, but uh, just, you just know there might be some some smattering of judgment from the chat. <laughs> and possibly me, but I'll, I'll never tell. I don't know. I like, yeah, I like, I like Spide Ups. He's not my favorite. I definitely like other bug Pokemon in Gen, uh, in Gen 9 better, but I don't know. Okay. Ooh, Galvantula kind of spooks me a little bit. Just a little bit, Daffer Kirby. Um, I don't know about Starchamp, but... Um, yeah, Galvantula's a little spooky. The more... If I look at it too much. Luckily, it has, like, really animeified eyes, so that's good. The ones that don't have the animeified eyes are definitely a problem for me. <laughs> um, so, yeah. For sure. For sure. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. Let's, let's go get our... Um, Let's go get our Granite Cave encounter. And that's how we'll end today's stream. Just because, uh, yeah, I want to go for just a tiny baby bit longer. Um, so, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go grab... Uh, we need we need an Auron. We need an Auron. I will skip these trainers for now. I'll fight them later. Grab Flash just for funsies. Thank you. And yeah, let's uh let's pop in here real fast and grab the grab the Laron. I think that's the only thing that's in this cave that we need, right? Pretty sure. There's Laron. Yep, that's it. That's it. There's nothing else. We have all the other stuff. Yeah, 
we will go in here. Get out of here, Makuita. Grab this escape rope. In we go. Oh yeah, I don't, yeah, Dokugumon from Digimon is horrifying. Like, actually kind of horrifying. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, that's a, that, that thing is a monster. Um, it's really cool, but yeah, its eyes really skeeve me out quite a bit, actually. Um, yeah, not a fan. Not a fan, not a fan. Dokugumon, no thanks. It's actually really prominent in the opening of Digimon Survive, too, so it's like kind of, it's really sketchy. <laughs> it's really sketchy, not a fan. Okay, here's our Auron. Beautiful. Um, I guess we can try and go for some big damage here with, like, Scratch. Ooh, that did, like, nothing, though. <laughs> um, I could try and hit it. I, it'd be neutral with Ember, right? Because Rock resists fire, I'm pretty sure. Is that correct, chat? L remind me. Uh, uh, Rock resists fire, steals weak to fire, so it should do neutral damage on Auron with Ember, I think. Sounds right. Uh, Star just says, "Oh, Dokugumon was the absolute worst in O2. It's in uh, O1 as well. It um, it's the one that blocks the um, or it goes for it goes on the attack as soon as they try and leave for leave the digital world to go to back to the real world. Um, as the castle's exploding. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it's uh, it's in it's it's also in season two and um, yeah, like I said, it is a very prominent in Digimon Survive. Um. Okay, that is right. Okay, cool. Okay, perfect. That's exactly where I wanted it to go. Excellent, excellent. Now let's throw a Pokeball. Yumi says, me and Sachi are going to found the Bug Pokemon Appreciation Club since we seem to need more appreciation for these buddies. Aw. <laughs> hey, I'm happy for y'all. I'm happy that y'all have, uh, have a have a, a, a little bug loving community that you can start but yeah uh, count me out <laughs> count me out hey very good very good we get ourselves the Laron slot filled beautiful um let me go ahead and add that to the checklist as well arukinimon's okay for me right um because she's mostly human um, and she's pretty cartoony, so, <laughs> yeah, our kitty bond's fine for me. I don't have too much qualms with her. Okay, what are we calling this Laron, chat? This is our final, our final activity for the day. Uh, name this Laron, and then we'll wrap up. We have a male Laron. I am open to suggestions. Uh, Dr. says, honestly, all this bug talk makes me want to open my own, t uh, make my own tier list of the bugs like some of y'all in the Discord did. Oh, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. I assume you mean the bug Pokemon. Um, yeah, I would check that out. That'd be cool. That would be cool. That would be cool. Oh, Aaron Burr. <laughs> That's silly. Um, you don't like Aru Kenimon? Really? It's not that bad. She's fine. She's fine. I mean, she has, like, kind of like a creepy face. Her face reminds me of the, of the ghosts from Sonic Adventure 2. I've always thought that. That, is that even a, like a relatable like comparison? Y'all know what I'm talking about? <laughs> you know the ghosts in Sonic Adventure 2? They're in like the pyramid levels. Remember? Anyone here played that? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Rocky Road, not bad. Tinter. What else we got? What else we got? What am I feeling for this one? Hmm. Hmm. What do I call you? Tintin. Not bad. Not bad. Larry. I think we've done Larry before. Crevice. Hmm. Give me. What do I want for this one? Let's do. Let's do a plurality. Give me a noun with an S on the end of it, and I will go with the one that I think is the cutest. Um. So yeah. Go. Go for it, chat. Give me your best. Give me your best. Ooh, plates is pretty good. Sheets, pretty good. Skulls. Ooh, these are all really good. These are all really good. They're all ready. Yeah, uh, not King Boom Boo, but rather his, like, little minions, uh, Jackie, was what I was talking about. Um, steals. Not bad. Not bad. That was the name of the boss, Jackie. <laughs> I, I don't know what the little minions are called. All stomps. is kind of cute. So I do kind of like stomps. <laughs> yeah. I'll go Stomps. I'll go Stomp. This is Stomps the Lair on. <laughs> um, thank you all for the suggestion. They were all great, honestly. Like, I had to I had to really think about that one. I'm going to go Stomps, though, I think. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. 
I guess, should I just, since I'm already here, I guess I could just quickly go and steam it. I, I keep extending things out a little bit, don't I? <laughs> um, yeah, let's, we're already in here. Let's just, like, get that letter to Steven real quick. And then we'll, we'll, uh, I'm not gonna fight Broly today, though. No, I need to, I need to grind before that. So, yeah. Let's, uh, let's go over here and get this letter delivered to Steven. Um, I need to pop a, I have that repel. I might pop that real quick. Yeah, yeah, we'll start on Brawly. We'll start on Brawly tomorrow. That'll be perfect. That'll be perfect. Let me let me pop that repel before these wild Pokemon drive me nuts. Beautiful. We are we're already in the game. Yeah, man. We might as well just beat the game. Yeah, you're right. You're right. One sitting playthrough. Let's go. <laughs> one one Pokemon playthrough every day until I go on vacation. No, that sounds like an absolute nightmare. <laughs> that sounds like a nightmare. I'd die. Luckily, I know the path. I know the path in here. That's the Everstone right there. Pass right by it. Oh, we're out of repel. Rip. Okay, we're almost out. And boom, right here. Beautiful. Okay, beautiful. Hi. Oh my God, it's boyfriend. Yo, we haven't done the boyfriend joke in a long time because we haven't been to Hoenn in a long time. Okay, chat. This is my boyfriend. His name is Steven. That device you have there, it's a Pokenav. When trainers that have Pokenavs battle, it keeps a record of how things went, I think. Oh, pardon me. My name is Steven. I'm interested in rare stones, so I travel here and there. Oh, a letter for me? It's a love letter from me. <laughs> it's, 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 this is my boyfriend. <laughs> you went through all this trouble to deliver that. I need to thank you. How about a smooch? That would do it for me. <laughs> Uh, Dabber Kirby says the standard uh, Sonic Adventure 2 ghosts are just called Boos, and the leader is King Boom Boo. Wow, they really just deadass called them Boos when Mario Boos exists? Cringe. <laughs> That's really funny. Yeah, walking, yeah, really walking the copyright infringement line. I mean, I guess it's a pretty, it's a pretty, like, universal name, but, like, that does seem a little sussy, right? <laughs> it is funny. Steven gives me the attract TM instead of Steelwing. Yeah, hell yeah, you be. <laughs> Steel wing and chill. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Beautiful. Thank you, boyfriend. <laughs> okay. Get out of here, Abra. I ain't got time for you. Oh, come on. Really? You're just gonna teleport. Okay, see ya. See ya, you bastard. <laughs> Apparently, Jiggings is not very fast. Let me just get out of this cave real quick, and then we can be done. Then we can be done. I guess I'll go ahead and start in on my outro stuff real fast. Um, so yeah, uh, just as a quick, a quick reminder, um, I am going to be streaming today through Thursday, 12 p.m. Pacific time. We're going to try and finish all of Sapphire before I go on vacation on Friday. So, um, yeah, uh, should be fun. It should be fun. Really interesting. Um, tomorrow at 12 p.m. Pacific time, we will start in back on Sapphire, uh, with Broly. Uh, I will have already grinded so that we're all good and ready to fight him. Um, so far, so good. No casualties. Uh, we got through Roxanne. No no problem. Lickety split. Um, so yeah, we can go ahead and do that. Um, uh, but yeah, so I guess I hope you will all join me tomorrow for that. It should be fun. Um, if we haven't raided in a while, is there anyone I can raid? Oh, no one's live. Why is no one live? What the heck? <laughs> I was like, I need to raid more often. I haven't been raiding a lot lately, and I feel kind of bad. Um, but that's okay. That's okay. No one's online. It's cool. It's cool. <laughs> but in any case, uh, yeah, I hope y'all will join me for some more Sapphire tomorrow. Should be fun. Um, I'm curious to see how well we'll do at getting through all of Sapphire in like five days. So, <laughs> um, yeah, um, I will see you all tomorrow for um, more Sapphire. So take care, everyone. Bye-bye.